Beulah prayed. Looking for the 18. Is the 18 of Matthew LaPrade down on the grid? He's parked over here behind the uh, grandstands on this side. Make sure that uh, make sure Matthew has his chance to get out here. Matthew the Prade. We're looking for Matthew the Prade. Number 18. Do we got him down there? He's on the front row. He's parked right here. He's parked over here right behind the grandstands. If y'all are on the back row and can't hear... Turn on Boring Live. All right, we got Matthew the Prade over here. He's coming up now. All right, we got Matthew LaPrade out there. We're ready to get this thing underway. Warden and Gamble on that front row. Hazelud, Hazelou in that number three inside second row. We got LaPrade out there. Wilkerson and Harp in the number five, the gray number five. And that green flag is out. Rookie heat race number two here at the bull ring. Looking to secure that outside pole position. The winner of this one will sit outside pole for their chance at $1,000. Warden and Gamble, front two. Here comes LaPrade. Connor Wilkerson to the outside. Looking good out there. And Wilkerson closes the gap in fourth. He's in that final regular transfer spot. Here goes Wilkerson up on the cushion. Making the outside pass, and Connor Wilkerson from the back. Outside again. Let's see if he can make it stick out there. This time he slides a little bit out. That's one thing some of these kids know is they can put it out there, and it'll stick sometimes. We do have a cushion out there that'll work if you use it just right, but Wilkerson coming back. That allowed Harp to get up to fourth. Out front, Gamble putting a little room between himself and Morden. LaPrade now. Looking to the bottom, trying to take that second position away. Down into turn one, the Parade takes the second position away. Moves up a little bit more. Got a little contact back there between Hazelou and Harp. Hazelou to the fourth position now. Hazelou looking to the bottom of Warden, trying to take that third position away. Finds a dirt bank, gets around. There's contact and more contact. <laughs> Looks like everybody's able to keep it going. Flagman keeps them green. Zach Zachary, find your way over to your pit and your go-kart. Zach Zachary, find your way over to your pit and your go-kart, or you'll miss your heat race, and I won't keep calling you because I'm your dad. Winding down the laps in heat race number two of this 
Rookie division, looking for that outside starting position, outside pole starting position, Gamble. Got a pretty good run here going. The parade really closing in now. He's going to make an attempt at it. Little loose up off of two. Warden still in third. Wilkerson has moved back to fourth. White flags in the air. Down the front straightaway. This is your last lap, and Gamble still your leader. LaParade getting even more laps in. Getting a little better through one and two. He's going to be hot come feature time as he gets a little more time in. This is his first trip here to the bull ring. Looking good out there. And as a checkered flag comes off, they're going to be side by side down this front straightaway. And at the line, Gamble holds on for the win. LaParade second. Warden's going to bring it home in third. Wilkerson, Harp, and Hazelou round out the field. Now, it's not all bad to not be in those top four because the winner of that last chance race, or B-Main, whatever you want to call it, is going to take home $100. All these kids are going home with something good tonight. We're going to make sure of it. Want to make sure these rookies have the best time that they have ever had at a racetrack. Final rookie heat race coming up. That means I need the junior ones to the grid. Junior ones, you're on deck, followed by junior two. Junior one and junior two. Bring them to the grid. Hey, good, good call there, Red. Seeing a piece of metal on the track? Let us know. Y'all see anything on the track? And y'all yell at us? It, it's a good thing. We're getting yelled at for a good reason. All right, final heat race for your rookie division. Winner of this one will be sitting inside second row, if I'm not mistaken. You got Sykes on the pole, Erickson outside pole, Overly inside second row. Britt outside second row. You got the number 11, Carlbert, Bryson Carlbert, making his first run up here at the bull ring. And we've got Ethan Shellenjevitz. I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. I'm being able to say it right. Now, Luke told me how to say it earlier, and I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to put a ch on the end of it. All right, here we go. We are underway. Sykes starting from the pole. Early leader. Overly up to second. Brandon Britt rolls into third. Carl Burton, his first trip here to the bull ring, is in fourth. Luke there in the number four is fifth. And Erickson in sixth. Elijah Sykes looking pretty good out there. 
He's won him a few here at the Bull Ring. I would think if he could pull one off tonight, I think it's safe to say it'd be the biggest one he's ever won, especially at seven or eight years old. Overly coming down from the North Florida to run with us. He's got a challenge to the outside from Britt. Braden Britt looking good out there. They're going to be side by side down into turn three. Britt Overly trying to figure out who's going to be second this lap, and it looks like it's going to be Braden Britt taking that second position. Overly back to third now. Carl Burt, Carl, Carl Burt. Man, I'm uh, just twirling up some words tonight, ain't I? Y'all give me a whole bunch of new names that I got to learn how to say. Halfway home, Elijah Sykes, and that number eight, your leader. He's got him some tornado power on there tonight. It is surely stirring up a storm, but Braden Britt is always fast. He's just now into second. He's got a lot of ground to make up, but he'll have him a pretty good solid starting position for our 1,000 to win feature event. Junior one, you're up next. Junior one is up next. Followed by junior two. Junior one, junior two. Make sure you're at the grid. You got a battle back there for third. Overly and Carlbert battling it out. Luke in the number four. Trying to get up there and do a little battle with him. Two laps to go. Little bit of dirt for the number 11. Slowed him down a little bit. He was trying to wind it up on the inside there. That let Luke get him a good run on him. Wasn't quite able to get around him there. And everybody's got their momentum back up. But we're on the white flag lap down the back straightaway. Elijah Sykes looks like he has them covered here. Off of turn four. Winner heat race number three. Elijah Sykes sets him up for his chance to win $1,000 tonight. We've got Britt coming home in second. And there's a battle for third. And it looks like Carlbert's going to take it at the line. Overly drops to fourth. Luke was fifth. And Erickson's. And y'all are running second, so I sure hope that y'all aren't going to say y'all didn't know what was going on. It can be a little hard to hear back there. There's a lot of generators running and everything else. But once this show gets going, I can tell you one thing. If you miss a beat, you're probably going to miss your race. So please, if you can't hear very well or if you're just running around, turn on the bull ring live. Know what's going on. Get a copy of the race list. All kinds of good stuff. All right, the 8 and the 16. We needed you over here. Um, 16, Looks like we got the 16. I don't know if we're still missing the 8. I can't see that far. All right, we've got a good slow pace lap. Adults, take note. This is how we do it. Flagman starts the race here. He looks like he got Parker Haley on the outside. Kelsey Wilkerson starting. I believe this is the first time she started pole and set a good example starting pole there. Down through the middle. Erickson making a good shot. Looks like Haley will be your leader in the turn one in the 99 cart. Braden there. Looks like it's shut down on him. Hopefully he's able to roll it in. 
He's not going to make it, and that'll probably bring the caution flag out. Junior two to the grid. Junior two to the grid. Braden Humphrey still having carburetor problems. They've been working on it. They're trying. If any of y'all are carburetor experts, go over there and give them a hand so this little boy gets to race. All right, we're going to try to get this thing back underway. Well, looks like we got it. Okay, I thought it shut down. The number eight had shut down. Nope, he was just stopping. Trey Ford, he's got good brakes on that one. Y'all don't need to do a check on that cart. They were going to give it one more shot to get Braden Humphrey out there, but it's not going to work again. This little boy wants to race. If we got any carburetor experts in the house or novices, y'all go over there and give them a hand. We'd really appreciate it. We want to make sure all these kids get a chance to race. Kevin over there working on his cart, doing anything he can to help this little boy get his opportunity to race. It's all about everybody trying to help each other out. All right, we got them lined back up, and they're rolling, setting a nice little pace out there again. I'm telling you, drivers, all you 350 and 400s especially, flagman starts a race. You don't have to go quite that slow, but I don't want to see y'all racing down the back straightaway, and neither does he uh, coming to a green flag. Down through the middle, Erickson with a good run again. Haley clears. He's going to be your leader in that number two. Hayden Erickson brings it in the second. Trey Ford third. Wilkerson there. Parker Haley, he's won him a few out here this year. Tonight, your junior one class will be running for $50 to win. We got a a lot of sponsors on board tonight that were mainly here sponsoring for the uh, for the rookie race. But we got a lot of local sponsors that, that help us out week in and week out. We want to recognize them. Quality Marine Surplus, Dan and Terry Donaldson, always, always supporting our kids' classes. They have done a lot for us here to make sure these kids always at least have a few bucks to run for and sometimes a little more. Also one of our sponsors on the rookie divisions or on all of our children's divisions, is Old Fart Racing and Papa Sig. 
He has paid for all their trophies this year and even made me go get bigger ones so that they had nicer trophies. So we got some pretty cool trophies for all of our kids' classes. Parker Haley taken halfway. Got him a pretty good lead. Hayden Erickson there in second now. Trey Ford still riding third. Now we've got all of our winners tonight, all of our feature winners. We'll be getting a pair of tickets over to Volusia Speedway Park for their next car race. Now tomorrow night they are canceled. They had way too much rain over there to get to race, but uh, they got plenty more coming. So you'll always get an opportunity to, to use them. They're good for the rest of 2020. It's part of our initiative to get tracks to work together on schedules and things like that, something you don't see very often. And we've got about seven or eight tracks tonight. I can tell you, I, well, I could tell you, but y'all don't want to hear about that, that are working together now, and that's pretty cool. So Parker Haley taking that white flag heat race for your junior one division. Flagman wrapping his flag around the stick one time there. That's right. We'll call you out if you wave the flag and don't do a good job. <laughs> Down off three and four one more time. It's going to be Parker Haley winning this heat race of the number two. Hayden Erickson bringing it home in second. Looks like Trey Ford will bring it home in third. And Kelsey Wilkerson in that number 286. Her little brother will be racing in that rookie race, but she brings it home in fourth tonight in the heat race for your junior one. Coming out on the track now, one, one of our divisions that's always got a pile of carts. This is your junior twos. Junior twos on the track now. Always a hotly contested class. Green flag flies, and we're going to go racing. Zach Zachary must have found his way to his go-kart because he starts on the pole, and he's going to lead him down into one. But there is a traffic jam behind him as he got a little wiggle there. And apparently we're going to do it all over. out the caution. So we'll line them all back up and start over. There was a traffic jam in one as Zachary wiggled the cart. Lost momentum and next thing you know, there were carts going everywhere and they will always put these things. These kids know that there's a berm out there that they can, or a, a cushion out there that they can use. And sometimes they use the berm too. <laughs> like Jaden getting it around one more time back there trying to catch up. We'll line them back up again. You've got Robbie Stout in the number 41. Zach Zachary in the 43. Nolan Mesa's out there. Lila Miller in the number 11 out there. Making her first run with us here at the Bull Ring. You got the 3R of Trenton Rivera. Trenton's family sponsoring some of the racing tonight. They'll get them all lined back up.
All right, we're going to line. We got them all lined back up again. We're going to get this thing back underway. And we're going to go back green flag racing. That race down to turn one. Zachary and Nelson. And they're pinballing, and it looks like Nelson got the short end of the straw on that one. Everybody was into everybody on that one. And they'll get them all straightened back out here, and it looked like when everything cleared, Robbie Stout is your leader. At number 41, Victor Peters Power out front. Zach Zachary second with some Jeff Star Power on there. We got one around and into the bank. She's still underway, so we'll keep rolling. Nolan Mesa there in that number 28 running third. But he's got to challenge the inside, and Arbogast takes third away. Randy Smith looking for a way around in the number eight. Always a fast contender. He's using that bumper a little bit more than maybe he should tonight, but keeps it enough clean that everybody stays straight. If he just tried to go around him, he'd probably pass him. Hard to pass people on their bumper. There's going to be a lap cart right there as they get into three. That's going to cause a bottle up. Zachary to the inside, Arbogast to the outside. Everybody pretty much clears as a caution flies. Seventeen. Just trying to get her bearings down out there. It can be a little bit of a tricky track sometimes. She'll get it. So as they line them back up, we know Stout's in the lead. That's one thing we definitely uh, have no doubt about. Have no doubt, the leader's stout. There's your first corny joke of the night, and there'll be plenty more corny jokes coming down where that one came from. Zachary will be second. Looks like they're saying Nolan Mesa was third the last time by. Maybe Arbogast. I know the lap cart kind of came into play on that one, and I think Arbogast might have been at the top side there. Randy Smith will be right behind Preston Arbogast, Trenton Rivera, Corbin Gamillion, Nelson, Miller. Oh, I see what the problem is back there on the number 17, Maxis Tires. We got to get her on some Vegas. This is, uh, it's a little bit slick out there for, uh, for a synthetic rubber. This track sure does love it. Some Vega natural rubber tires out there on a night like this. Plenty of moisture in the track. It'll all be working its way back up. Y'all probably felt the little mist a few minutes ago, which we'll take. There is literally nothing on the radar. God gave us a really nice night tonight for some racing. Cooler temperatures. Feels like the humidity is finally starting to let go a little bit so we can see out of our glasses. So Robbie Stout, he has been trying to tame the bull ring for a couple years now. And looks like tonight he's about as good as he has been, if not better. Look out, though, because behind him there are a lot of hot shoes back there. Zachary, Mesa, Arbogast, Smith, Chameleon, Rivera back there. He's won a few up at Waldo. And we're going back green flag racing. Look out, turn one, here they come. Down into one. Mesa with a fast cart and a good run. Looks to the inside of Zachary. Here comes a bump draft from Arbogast. Not quite enough. Mesa lifts going in the corner just enough to let Zachary clear him back up. And Stout's going to stretch that lead out just a little bit more. Stout, Zachary, and Mesa. 17's around one more time. Yellow flags out. 
Yellow lights all the way around. And yeah, yeah. Now we've had, we do got a three black flag rule, so, or three black flag, three yellow flag rule. And we'll let you take it to the pits and make a few adjustments. All right, while we're lining them back up, we have a new fast time over at the Race Car For You simulator. That's right, tonight we have the Race Car For You late model simulator here in the house, full-size simulator race car. And these kids have been battling it out all night. And Matthew LaPrade, one of our rookie contenders, has turned a 13.793. Matthew LaPrade with the fastest time in the simulator now, 13.793. Folks, he's eight years old. He is your fastest time so far. The age has been going down every time I get a new fast time up here. So when you get a chance, go over, take a shot at that time. It's only $10 to ride in the simulator, and we want to make sure that we make it worth their while coming out here tonight so they'll come back and, and have some fun here with us at the bull ring again. That's Race Car For You. You can check it out at Race Car. I believe it's racecarforyou.com as well. All right, we're going to get back to green flag racing. Robbie Stout leads us around. Looks like he is going to fire mid turn three and four. Him, Zach Zachary, and the rest of the pack. Wow, Preston Arbogast, great run down into turn number one. He'll have the inside line and gets flip flop back around, ends up on the top, and the crisscross move gets Nolan Mesa back up to third. Mesa looking good out there tonight. They drove a long way to be here, and they've got two laps to go in the heat race. They are bunched up for that third position. Looks like Randy Smith is going to try to take it over. Randy Smith to third. Arbogast trying to hold on to get it up to fourth, but base is still right there. Trenton Rivera pulling up the challenge. It's going to be Robbie Stout taking the white flag. Zachary still right there in second, but Randy Smith has got a lap to try to get around him. Yeah, you know Randy's going to be looking for that front row starting position. Randy Smith to the back bumper. He's been wearing out some bumpers tonight. We're going to have to talk to him about that one. He'll be facing a black flag. He uses too many of them. And he just got a little taste of bumper there from Preston Arbogast as Robbie Stout wins the heat race. Zach Zachary second. Mesa and Arbogast were right there for fourth. Trenton Rivera will bring it home in six. Gamillion, Miller, and Nelson round out the field.
And the number three of Aaron Alvarez, I believe, would be your fifth place finisher. Coming out next, your Crate 375. Crate 375s are coming out. They're going to be followed by Box Stock 400 and then the Run What You Brung Heat Race. If you want favoritism tonight, the scorekeeper has let us know that a Dr. Pepper, anybody with a cold Dr. Pepper, may get you a good call. The scorekeeper may be able to be bribed with something as small as a Dr. Pepper. Apparently, no other soft drink in the world is as good as a Dr. Pepper, and we're not being paid to say that. <laughs> Tommy Stout won't need any favoritism, at least in Junior 2, as his son won. So at least somebody whose kid won a heat race brought the Dr. Pepper. <laughs> heat race, a number two of the junior threes. Green flags in the air. We're going to go racing. I believe... I don't have a name on the 106, and I know they told me, but I'm pretty sure they gave me the wrong number. <laughs> Which one? Which one? The 106. <laughs> We're blaming the scorekeeper and scorekeeper's assistant, but as we keep going, the 106 is your leader. I'm going to go with Phelps on that one. I'm going to go with Phelps because that's the only name I haven't called, and they're parked back there with him. So let's say Phelps is the leader. And that battle for second has Tanner Cheatham in the number 85 being challenged by the number four of Aiden Sykes. Sykes to the inside. His little brother won one of the rookie heat races, and Sykes is looking to take home a victory tonight. This winner of the Junior 3 feature race will be taking home 50 bucks, courtesy of Quality Marine Surplus. And a little bit of help, too, from uh, Old Fart Racing and some of our other sponsors. We'll give a mention, too, to the number 20 right there in fourth place, Travis Brown. He was going to go up and run at Waldo tomorrow. They got rained out. He said, Dad, I want to go racing. And Dad brought him over here after they got off work today. It is tough for some of these families to make it out here on a Friday night. We appreciate him getting to come out here and race with us. Travis has been excited all week about getting to race. And uh, we're just glad he's here with us. The number seven, the black number seven back there, Brooklyn Conley, making her first appearance with us here tonight as well. Laps are winding down. The 106 is still your leader. Laps are winding down. Junior three, one lap to go. Phelps still your leader. Cheatham second, eight, and Sykes third. Brown fourth. Conley fifth. Off a of turn four, one more time. Second heat race. Junior three division. Phelps is going to take the win. Cheatham second. Sykes third. Travis Brown fourth. And Brooklyn Connolly in her first run here with us at the Bull Ring brings it home in fifth. Coming up next now, your Crate 375, followed by Box Stock 400 and Run What You Brung. Working our way through these heat race events here. Got a little bit of a late start tonight after having to make sure a lot of these kids uh, got practice. A lot of the racers got practice. Had a lot of new folks here tonight, so... Worked our way through that, worked our way through some parking difficulties because our backup parking is underwater down there, hard to mow. 
everybody worked together, got in here tonight. We really appreciate everybody making that big effort to help out. You got your crate 375 coming out, and if you're not up in the grid or you've already ran your heat and you got a little bit of time on your hands, you might want to go take a shot at Matthew LaPrade's fast time on the race car for you at 13793. 10 bucks get you a shot, and hey, it'll put a smile on your face getting to drive that thing because if you wreck it, you don't have to fix it. All right, we're moving into our adult classes now with the box or the crate three seventy five division. Got Amber Connectel up there in that on that number, in the number fourteen cart. They're gonna go three wide down the front straight away. Fan them out. John Cooper, coming to run with us. Been a little while since we've seen John, but we're glad to have him here tonight. Cooper in that number three, taking it to the lead. He has got a battle behind him, though. There are a bunch of angry hornets. Connectal and Grizzub battling it for second. Grizzub is on a 1990s, no adjustment kind of chassis up there, that black and white cart. He has won two in a row out here with some pretty stout competition. We've got a couple contenders tonight that want to give him a shot at uh, not finishing first. John Cooper looking good out there. We know the group he's parked back there with is always fast. Here comes Connectal in the 51. Grizzub right there in third. Winding down these laps here. We're glad to see Elizabeth Phillips with us here tonight in the number 314. She I assure you it was everything she could do to get into that cart tonight with the last little bit of energy she had there. And uh, we just really appreciate them making the drive up here, coming to race with us. So y'all show Elizabeth some, lo some love back there, the number 314. Up front. Here comes Buster Grizzub for the lead. And there is what I was talking about with those 1990s carts. That's a 1990s Ultramax with phantom spindles on it. Ain't no adjustment there. And he's looking at two laps to go and done drove it to the front in a crate class where setup and tires are pretty much everything. And he's got a straight rail out there just showing him how it's done. Buster Grizzum taking it back to the front one more time. Cooper back to second. Amber Connect will bring it up to third, getting around Dad there. Buster Grizzum, he has been on a tear here at the Bull Ring lately, and they're going to have to do a little bit of work if they want to catch him tonight. This is his kind of track, and that's why we keep this surface unsealed. That way everybody with anything you bring has a chance. Aim on that 25. <laughs> Tonight, the uh, 375 crates will be running for an Outback Steakhouse gift certificate, Pet Boys oil change, and some VSP tickets. All for just $20 to enter. That's all we charge. I want to make sure anybody on any budget can pretty much come out here and race. And you'll see a lot of guys on some very little budgets winning some races tonight. Box stock 400. They're out on the track now. The Run What You Brung should be over at the grid. Run What You Brung, followed by Predator 375 and then Box Stock 350. I think they took uh, they took my words to heart on that start. That's a good start right there. Liking seeing these guys do it. Ah, oh, but one of them fires early. No green flag. I'm gonna go with it's a shocker. Watson fired before the flag <laughs> before the flag flew. <laughs> Brandon Watson. 
from my vantage point, may have fired before the flag flew. He should have brought a Dr. Pepper up here for the scorekeeper, and he would have got to go. Now, that inside pole sitter is Greg Eunice. They made the trip down here from way across Georgia to come race with us tonight. We got a lot of folks from out of state. We got some South Carolina here, a lot of Georgia. I'm pretty sure there's Tennessee and Alabama here. All right, we're going to go back green flag race in box stock 400. Now on the inside, Newhouse trying to get all the way to the front. Billy Newhouse. Usually see him out there in a run what you brung. Tonight, he's in a box stock 400, going back to his roots, doing a little bit of box stock racing with us here tonight. Eunice falls into second. Watson. We got some glittery colored numbers out there. I'm going to have to get some new glasses if I'm going to read all these. I got me a new light over here that's really shining bright, too, that ain't helping. <laughs> well, darn it. It's because it's Austin Eunice in that cart. They got the same numbers on them, and the announcer should have picked that one up. So Austin Eunice is right there in fourth. Billy Newhouse pulling away now. Newhouse looking at halfway home this time by. Stretching it out a little bit. Got that car hooked up and working right now. Eunice still in third. Watson fourth. Eunice and... I don't have a name on the 99. So if you know who's in the 99, let me know. New house is going to be looking at two laps to go this time by. Still rounding it out. Winding down this box stock 400 heat race. White flag, run what you brung, make sure you're at the grid. Run what you brung, followed by the Predators and box stock 350. Down the back straightaway one more time. Billy Newhouse looking to set himself on the pole for box stock 400 tonight. And he's going to do it with a win here in heat race number one, box stock 400. Eunice is going to bring it home in second. Watson.
Troy Towers out there in that number 33. He's got the big block brigade behind him, and he's pretty good down the straightaway. All right, we're going to get him lined up. Our rules for Run What You Brung are pretty simple. It's got to be a regular go-kart frame. I let champ carts out there. Correct wheelbase, all that good stuff. Regular tires, but we allow treads in any class because it's open tire here. And I don't care what you bolt to it for a motor. I want to see you go fast. Off of turn four, Tower, Zachary side by side, down the middle, three wide, into turn one. Johnny, Zachary to the lead. Tim Zachary, Rich Hill, side by side, down the back straight away. Hill to second. Here comes Dan Donaldson on the outside in that number 81, the wing machine out there, the big two-stroke out front. Johnny Zachary, your leader. Rich Hill, Tim Zachary, Dan Donaldson. And we got one around Zachary. Gets it around. We're going to stay green. Johnny Zachary out front. Rich Hill going to try to close. Towers and Dustin Mitch back it out. We got one around. Hill is around in turn two. Looked like Zachary may have had a problem over there too. Who is it on? All right, so here's what we got. We were actually going to just call the we were going to call the caution on Hill because he spun and stopped and wasn't able to keep going, and uh, Zachary had kept going, which would have put him back up front. But being as his last name is the same as mine, he'll go to the back <laughs> so that we don't have to hear about it. Because that's how we play it here at Marion County Speedway. If your name is the same as mine and you're involved in a caution, no matter what, or if you look like you were, you get to go to the back. It's family. <laughs> but. I'm thinking he'll be fine. <laughs> They're trying to get Hill's machine figured out. He may have found a little bit of dirt bank down there and a cone. They aren't exactly light. They're a little hard to pick up and just throw on the back of something. So we're going to get him. They got a pull cart coming out. Looking like the kid's getting a workout tonight. They'll put it up on a stand and get it off here. Predator 375, I need to make sure you're at the grid. Predator 375 at the grid. Box stock 350, you'll follow Predator 375. Box stock 350 follows Predator 375. So we're getting word over the radio that that big monster motor on the 44 cart may have actually broke the chassis. That's how much power some of these guys bolt to these things. You're looking at some 70 horsepower plus engines out there. And yes, I said 70. And there's a few guys at home saying mine has more than that, but you're at home. That's how this works. Trust me, we have a lot of armchair racers that like to chime in. We're amused, though. We're amused because we're all here having a good time at the racetrack. Donaldson will be your leader when we go back green. Mitch in second. Towers, Zachary, and Zachary. Rounding out the field right here. Run what you brung. If you've got something crazy and you want to bolt it to a go-kart, this is a class for you. 
you can't be all in your right mind if you want to do the stuff that these guys are doing. Green flag out, Donaldson and Mitch side by side down the front straightaway, Dustin Mitch to the lead. Donaldson battles, battles back on the outside. He's got a bite off the cushion, but here comes Johnny Zachary down the inside, back to second. Dustin Mitch, Johnny Zachary, Dan Donaldson riding that cushion around the outside. Now to turn one. Mitch still your leader, but here comes Johnny Zachary one more time. Tim Zachary to the inside of Donaldson. Johnny Zachary to the inside of Mitch. Mitch battles back on the outside. Side by side, off a of turn four. Two, or halfway home. <laughs> Johnny Zachary, your leader. Dustin Mitch still right there in second. Donaldson and Tim Zachary battling for that third position. Donaldson using the cushion. Tim Zachary using the bottom. They set it and send it every single time in these things. Right now, that battle for third is a good one. It's Donaldson back to the top of the track one more time. You don't see that in a lot of places in go-kart racing, especially using the outside of the track, riding that cushion, Dan Donaldson out there. The Johnny Zachary though, two laps to go. He's your leader, Mitch second, Zachary third, and Donaldson fourth, and Towers still out there. He's got that small block riding fifth, giving it a whirl here at the Marion County Speedway. White flag in the air, one more lap, run what you brung. Down the back straightaway. In speeds, I can't even tell you what they're running because they are flying. <laughs> Folks. That's one thing we try to do for you here at Marion County Speedway. We want to put on a show. We want everybody to leave with a smile on their face and have had a good time coming to the racetrack. That's the way it's supposed to be. I don't know why people go to tracks that they just leave mad at, but dang it, come out here and race with us, and we'll do our best to make sure you leave with a smile. $20 to race on a Friday night. Always. Coming out next, your Predator 375 class. You go from about the loudest class to about the quietest. You go from crazy to somewhat controlled. But if you knew some of these drivers, you would definitely not use the word controlled. All right, Predators on the track right now for their first heat race event. There's two heat races of them tonight. We got a pretty good field of Predators out here. Outside second row out there, Bryant LaFrance, he had won every race this year. And last week, Kevin Terry showed up with that number 20 and Randy Glick with the number 24 and broke the streak. Let's see if LaFrance can get back to the front or if we'll find even another new winner tonight in your Predator 375 class. Cole Lawson in the number zero. That is not a name I've said yet this year. Here comes LaFrance, though, to the inside of the three-wide battle into turn number three. He comes out in third, down in second. We got the number four T, Jeff Teague. Jeff Teague, a winner down at Showtime Speedway on the big asphalt track. We've seen him run over at the Backyard Dirt Track in Hernando, and tonight he's coming over here to run with us at Marion County Speedway. Now, it looks like the Terry cart may have the number 20 that Terry normally runs. I'm going to guess that that blue fire suit is Scott Brogan. You can't miss that blue fire suit. We know who you are, Brogan. You can't hide from us. The 76 back there. Well, hey, our leader, something goes wrong. Lawson falls off the pace. And now with a three-way battle for the lead, here comes Brogan to the front.
Looks like Lawson's gonna bring it to the pits. The battle back for the lead now. Brogan being followed by LaFrance. LaFrance another one on one of those chassis straight out of the 1990s. That thing is older than half our drivers here tonight. But it works. His tires may have been in my rollers all week. <laughs> Got him a nice set of yellow Vegas on there. Pretty good working tires. But those tires on that front card, I bet they come out of Charles Smith's pit. And we know that Charles Smith knows his tires in Marion County Speedway. So Brogan's going to have himself a good ride tonight. Teague still right there in the number four T. And I believe that's Clearwater back there in number 76 tonight, running the Freedom Cart. We haven't seen Scott Clearwater here in a long time, but he's come back to race with us tonight. Or is it? Okay. Oh, yeah, I got him right. I did get him right. I had to get the names right. We got a side-by-side -side battle for the... Okay, hopefully my microphone. Test. All right. My microphone doesn't like me sometimes. <laughs> Even it tells me to shut up every once in a while. All right. So while the microphone was down, Scott Brogan takes the win in the Predator Heat race. Okay. My flagman shakes his head no. All right, they've decided. After going back to the instant replay that we don't don't actually go back and look at, so please don't say, watch the race and you'll see what happened. <laughs> actually, Brian LaFrance was your winner. Brogan was second. <coughs> I was fighting with a microphone. They were fighting with something over here. The flagman was looking, and that's the only one that counts. Green flag in the air. Papa Sig out there in that number, 28, 70 plus years old and still racing with us here at the Bull Ring. Flagman didn't like to start though because they were racing somewhere back around turn three. And uh, we don't start races in turn three. We start them off at turn four when the flagman waves the flag and turns the yellow light off. Y'all will get used to that though. So Papa Sig goes back to the pole. You look back there in that number 55, one of the freedom carts back there, Phil Bramonde coming back to run with us again. It's been a while since we've seen Phil in one of these carts. He's won a lot of races. We'll see what he can do in the number 55 tonight. Now the green flag flies. Papa Sig with a better start that time. John Greer out there in the 28X. Here comes Randy Glick looking to the bottom. Actually, I think Randy has a different driver in there tonight. I just have to confirm with him who's driving what. We'll take a look into his helmet and see who's there. It is Glick. All right, Glick is in the, I don't know. Y'all sure about that? That sure don't look like his jacket. <laughs> we'll always question it, though, because these drivers like to play musical carts sometime. Up front, the 24 cart. That's the Steve Greenwell tribute cart. Steve, a former racer here, passing away a few years ago. Or, excuse me, this earlier this, or earlier this year. And uh, Greenwell raced with us here, and uh, Randy Glick always runs this cart in memory of him, that number 24. On the number 55 freedom cart tonight, Phil Bramonde running with us. Hasn't skipped a beat after being out for a while. Here comes Bramonde to the inside of Glick. Side by side into three. 
A little bit of chatter down through there in the corner. We've had a lot of rain here this week. We are just happy they were able to put the track back together. We've moved the grid, or the, uh, excuse me, the inside of the corners up a little bit. Because when you got like 80 foot of racetrack out there to work with, you can do stuff like that. Glick back to the outside, but Vermont, Vermont Day, your leader. I don't have a name on who's driving Brandon Watson's cart either, but I know that's Watson's cart because it's shiny. That number 66 out there. It's definitely not Brandon, though. <laughs> Two laps to go. Bramande still your leader. Box stock 350, you're in staging. Box stock 350, you're in staging. Masters 375 will follow the box stock 350. Box stock 350, Masters and Wing Champ are the rest of our heat races. Make sure if you haven't ran a heat race yet, you should probably be at the grid at this point. Down the back straightaway one more time. The 55 of Bermonde, the Freedom Cart. Tommy Stout took a night off of driving to help us park cars out here. Let Phil step in, and Phil's taking the win. Glick second. The 66 third. John Greer fourth in the 28X. And Papa Sig in that number 28. He'll bring it home in fifth. Hey, while we got a second of quiet, don't forget to visit the TZ Motorsports parts trailer on the outside of turn one over there. I got a little bit of everything in that trailer. We've got family, friends, and everybody else over there trying to help run it tonight because uh, we had to spread our help out as far as we could spread it. We got the parts trailer open. It is like a flea market over there. I think I've got one of everything. You've also got the concession stand located under the tents right there beside it. Good, good. I was going to say home cooking, but it's grilled. It's all good grilled food, and we all love grilled food. Right beside that, the race car for you, late model simulator. Make sure you get over there and take a shot at Matthew LaPrade's top time of 13.793. Could be a little prize in it for someone turning that fast time of the night. Maybe a free ride, something you never know. Box stock, 350, heat race number one, taking a green. Whiteman and Mitchell lead them around. They got some contact back there. Carts bouncing all over the place. Kenny Whiteman looking good out there tonight out front. And that number 50, he come to take a shot at a win tonight. Winner of this one's going to get a steak dinner at Miller's Ale House, an oil change, some VSP tickets, and probably set themselves up pretty nice to uh, – have a good setup for that 911 memorial race, which is for this class as well. A whole separate non points feature to raise money for the Racing Fast for first responders. Now, the 24 that you see there in second isn't one of our regulars. That's Michael Trockey out there. He come over from Volusia tonight because he wants a shot at those trophies that he didn't get to win over there, and he's a Back-to-back -back feature, win or excuse me, won two features over there the last uh, night that we were over there racing. And here comes Trockey looking to the inside. Michael Trockey in the 24. Looks like he's found his way around the bull ring and is going to be looking at two laps to go in this heat race. Trockey to the lead. Whiteman back to second. Mitchell. We had some contact back there, and Whiteman 
not coming out of it good with that one. Ends up back to fifth or sixth position. Have to get someone to give me a name on the 123. Checkered flag, and Trocky's going to take the win. Mitchell. I believe that was one of the Smiths there in the 123. Looks like Clyatt, Mud Puppy, Whiteman. Less than 20 carts. We don't run a 375 class here. We leave that for all the other tracks. We run 350s and 400s. Coming out for your next one. More box stock 350 action. I'm really happy that everybody listened to what I said about starts. I always wonder if anyone's listening at a driver's meeting, but these guys are doing pretty good tonight about listening. We had a couple there that didn't. So the, uh, the 21 finds the inside dirt bank and a little bit of mud. So as I say, I'm proud of them for listening. They all forgot. That's what that helmet does. It kind of squeezes down on their head as their head, head swells when they think they're going to the front. Makes them forget what they're doing. They lose all sense of control, and they just put their pedal to the floor. We're allowed to talk about them because they can't hear us, but they'll all go home, watch the video, call me and tell, or write me or something and say, why would you say that? Because they gave me a microphone, that's why.
those were your box stock 350s. Masters 375 coming up next, followed by the wing champs to round out our heat races. No Masters. Okay, the Masters all decided that they didn't really want a steak dinner tonight. We had a few of them entered, and they decided just to kind of bump around to other classes. And here I thought a steak dinner and oil change and all was what was going to make them come back. Masters is a division for 35 and up. So if you want to not have to race with the youngins and you're 35 or over, Masters is a division for you. We encourage you to bring them out. Come race with us. So we're going to move right on to the wing champs. That is our last heat race, and we'll go into intermission. Your last chance to get a 50-50 ticket or get a uh, raffle ticket for the, uh, the body down here. You know, if I was like one of the other, or if we were like one of the other racetracks and had some cheesy music, maybe we'd have put, put, played uh, Push It while Dylan was going down the front straightaway. But Coming out on the track now, your wing champs. <clears throat> These guys make the long drive up here to come run with us. We are glad they are here with us tonight. So if they're all in the carts that they're supposed to be, because these guys love to play a little musical carts as well, they'll all drive each other's carts. The double zero is Mike Perkins. The outside pole to 222 is Joe Avello. We've got the 10 of Virgil Andrews. We've got the sense card of O.J. Seawright and the 65 of Tim Seawright. Perkins to the lead. Here comes Andrews. Andrews to the outside, Perkins on the inside. Here comes Seawright. Oh, Seawright sideways off of two, was trying to use that outside. Got a little loose. Perkins stretches it back out to the lead. Andrews falls into second. I'm sure Seawright's not done because here he comes down the inside, taking the second position away. OJ Seawright moving up to third now. They set their sights on Perkins. These wing champs have some uh, animal engines on them. They uh, kind of build them to the gills. And Seawright goes to the lead. Avello has, still has a stock Predator motor on his, just kind of shaking the cart down. They were trying to get an animal motor done for this week. Didn't get it done in time. But he will be back again, and he'll be a lot faster. Up front. Tim Seawright, your leader. Mike Perkins, second. O.J. Seawright, third. And Andrews, fourth. Intermission will follow this race. Intermission will follow this race. We usually allot 20 to 30 minutes for uh, intermission. We're going to try to keep it as brief as we can, but we do have some drawings to do. Halfway home this time. Bye. We got to give the ladies enough time, though, to get the score scoring uh, set up and get the lineups put up, so we do have to take a little bit of time. We hand score everything here, but it's all right because we've got video to back it up. Tim C. right in the 65, catching the lap cart of Avello. He's going to be looking at two laps to go this time by in the wing champ heat race. Perkins pulls up on the back of Avello. Doesn't get a good run, and here comes O.J. Seawright. The door is shut, though. Seawright to the bottom. He's going to take that second position. White flag in the air. One more lap to go. 
Perkins still trying to clear lap car, but we got OJC right finding his way to the mud. He keeps it going, spins around, and he falls back to fourth now. Down the back straightaway, Tim Seawright has come almost to a stop. We're on the white flag lap. I think he thinks the race is over. Tim Seawright, or yeah, Tim Seawright has no idea the race is over, or not over, and Perkins is gonna win. And well, maybe he does have an idea and his cart broke. <laughs> Andrews is gonna bring it to second and OJ Seawright back to third. I was hoping he just had no idea the race was over, but maybe he has had that terrible word, catastrophic failure. I don't see any holes in the top of the engine, though, so we might be all right with him. Here comes the push truck.
All right, rookie B main. The top three, we're going to go ahead and have y'all stop on the front straightaway because we have the um, trophies. We want to give y'all, we want these kids to get trophies too. So, top three, if you're down there with the kids, or can y'all hear me down there, kids on the front straightaway? Every class tonight, we stop top three on the front straightaway, take their picture, and make them feel like a rock star. So, even the B main, I want, I want the winner of the B main to get 100 bucks, get their picture, and have a good time. So, we know it's a little bit late, but this is a, uh, it's uh, it, they look like they're chipping at it, so we'll make sure they have a good time. All right, we get all our track officials out here, get everybody good. Again, this is going to be your rookie B main. The winner of this race takes home $100, courtesy of Erickson Motorsports. We appreciate them coming on board on this one. I brought an extra set of trophies tonight. Ain't nothing special. There it is, trophies. But dang it, these kids are coming out here. They're racing. And uh, this is a race. So the winner of this race, top three, I want to give them a trophy. So we'll get down there. We'll give them some, some stuff. All right, 9-11 race, you're on the grid. You're up next. 9-11 race is on the grid, followed by the rookie A main. Rookie A main will follow the 9-11 race. That will give these kids that are out here a chance to do a wipe down on the tires if they need to, whatever they need to do to uh, get back up and get ready. It might be a little bit of a quick turnaround for them, but we want to make sure that they have a chance to win some cash too here tonight. They may not have. Uh, May not have hit the setup perfect or whatever, but hey, we want we want to make sure that this B main is a good one for them. Missing a number two, Andrew Swiatek. Andrew Swiatek, we're missing you, brother. Last call for Andrew Swiatek. We need to get this one going. Here he comes. His daddy fought for this country, so we'll wait two minutes for him. <laughs> so we want to make sure that these kids in this rookie division tonight are leaving with all kinds of fun stuff, having a good time here. We know it's past some of their bedtimes, but hey, I think any of them are wide awake thinking about winning the thousand dollars later on. This is a chance for them to win a hundred dollars. Yeah, y'all were all y'all were all pushing down. We're all waiting for a guy who wants to um, hold up the show because of Predator. <laughs> um.
We're playing in Clearwater, not you. We're playing in Clearwater, not you. All right, we got the 23 on the pole. 5H outside pole. Four inside second row. Andrew Swiatek there on the outside second row. Jackson Haslu, perfect. The number 18 and the number 14, Jay. They're all lined up. I'm going to get my scorekeeper out here, and uh, we'll get this thing going. Okay. She's ready. We're going to back them up a little bit so they can see the flagman real good. Oh, okay. He's saying, okay, he's saying, uh, well, we just want to make sure the kids can all see him. We'll make sure whoever stand this one is. So Bailey Allen will be starting on the pole at number 23. The 5-H, Camden Harp. Luke Schellenjevitz inside second row. Andrew Swiatek outside. Jackson Hazalu inside third row. Carson Erickson. I had to remember Carson's name. I'm sorry. We know his sister Hayden, but we're just getting to meet Carson here with the racing now. He's getting into it. And Weston Foster. Oh, oh, oh. The 23 was hot on the pedal there, ready to go. Bailey Allen wanting that $100. She was ready to roll. And we are off and running here in this B main. Again, $100 sponsored by Erickson Motorsports. Camden Harp out to a big lead. And here comes Erickson down the back straightaway on the outside. Going to try to drive it all the way up to second. Carson Erickson with a big run all the way up to second place. Bailey in the third. Camden Harp. Looking good out there in the lead. This is your B main. Everybody's going to transfer because we were going to stop or start all of our carts. We're going to start all. Uh, we're going to start 20, and we had 19, so we're going to start all 19. Harp, your leader. Erickson second. Looks like Hazelou's worked his way up to third. Allen challenging, trying to get it back. Looks to the inside. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, okay, I had it right. There's a bunch of red carts right there. Camden Harp. Wants to bring home a Benjamin on this one. Nine one one Memorial Race for the Box Stock three fifties. You should be at the grid. Nine one one Memorial Race for the Box Stock three fifties. Bring them to the grid. Halfway home in this B main for your rookies. Camden Harp and that number five stretching it out now. Carson Erickson, though, having a pretty darn good run. He's starting to get the hang of it here at the bull ring. Running a very strong second right now. Any mistake by Harp, and he'll be up there. We've got a crisscross battle for the fourth position back there. Luke Shellenjevitz is actually, it just pulled it in there, got around Allen. Still want to mention out there, we've got Weston Foster in the 14J running with us, Andrew Swiatek in the number two running.
two laps to go. Harp is in control. All he's got to do is finish off a lap and a half, and he'll take home a $100 bill. We're going to go ahead and give these kids top three trophies because, hey, this is a main event. They came here to race. We want to send them home with a little hardware. White flag. Harp. One more lap. Down the back straightaway through three and four. One more time. Your winner, B. And rounding out the field, you've got Weston Foster and I'm going to get the name wrong, <laughs> Andrew Swiatek. Sorry, Andrew. The number th three? Yeah. Uh, I think the number three was third. He's got a little bit of smoke coming out of it there. We'll go down there and get a quick picture with them out here. Say congratulations. Hand him a trophy. The number three was third. Jackson's dad out there turned him around. Hey, come back, get your trophy. Now, when you're looking for your pictures and trying to find out, you know, hey, who took the pictures? This fellow right here on the golf cart. My corn. I'm going to say legendary, legendary photographer. Legendary. <laughs> He's up here taking the pictures. You don't got you a B main win. You're going to go into that A main. They, those other boys are up there watching you. They're going, wait a minute, this kid is fast. Who do you want to thank for your, you know, all the help you got here? Hey, Travis, Truck Engineering, CJ Smart Sports, Defender Racing Products, my mom, my dad, Eminem Bodies. Man, you got the whole list of sponsors down right there. Do y'all hear that? He's already ready for he's ready for NASCAR. I mean, he's got the sponsor list down. <laughs> All right, man. Camden, we'll let you get your picture taken and uh and get back there and get yourself ready for the big thousand to win race. Carson, you passed like half the, well, almost the whole pack on the back straightaway. I was looking for a rocket booster on the back of this thing. Nitrous. Nitrous, is that what it is? Is there a little button here? Where's the button that you push to make it go super fast? Who do you want to say thanks to, bud? Thank you. Well, we'll just do that around about everybody. Good job, Carson. Announcer pick. <laughs> There's not a memory you're really going to look back. You're going to see this picture one day and go, who is the guy with the microphone in the background? <laughs> who do you want to thank for your working on your cart and all? My dad. Well, that's the most important one, right? <laughs> Good job out there, Jackson. We'll see you in the A-Main. Yeah, yeah. All right. Coming up next, the 911 Memorial Race. If you've walked by the tower, you've seen the trophies. We've got a few people that that's the only reason they're here tonight. They've been looking at those trophies for a while. They want them. We had this race. The 911 Memorial Race was originally, well, it was going to come here. I couldn't accommodate the date, so we took it over to Volusia to run it over there. And uh, we bou we've bounced Tony Mason family around here. <laughs> here with rain and everything else and we are finally going to get to run this race all right if you registered for the 911 race we're missing uh i think they said we're missing two carts 
The last time the 350s ran was well over an hour ago, so we know you're not working on tires. If you're not on the track for the 911 race, we're going to give them a couple laps here. There comes one more. Here comes two more. There is some serious hardware down here for this one. And I want to encourage you all, please, to remember the reason for this race, remembering 9-11, the towers, what happened here in this great country of ours. And remember those who passed away, and we're racing in their honor tonight. I encourage you all to go to the Racing Fast for First Responders website, or go find me there. Go to their uh, Facebook page, Racing Fast for First Responders Facebook page, and check it out. Tony Mesa, please make a donation because, honestly, I know that the trophies cost more than the entries that we're donating back here, and I'd like to see somebody tonight who has a love for our first responders step up and cover that and then some. I know there's some big hearts out here. So let's go race in 911 Memorial Race. Trocky to the front. He's a little bouncy through one and two, but aren't they all? Here comes Smith down the outside. Down the inside challenge is Mitchell. Here comes Mitchell. He's got a big boost from Smith. Trocky back to third. Here comes Trocky back on the outside. Tried to pull it back up beside Smith. Wasn't quite enough to get there. We've got one slow on the top of turn four. Looks like he's out of the way. Oh, my God. Kenny Whiteman in the number 50. Yeah. Kenny Whiteman out earlier in this 20 lap feature event. All right, we're getting ready to go back to green. Corey Mitchell, Charlie Smith. The top three are getting some pretty nice hardware, but they all want the one that has the number one on it. Here's the battle. Charlie Smith getting shuffled back. Got caught up in the bumps there, and Trocky back to second. That leaves Mitchell out front by himself while they're back there battling, but they're not done yet. Here comes Erickson up to third now. Looks like Charles Smith is bringing it in. Something's happened to Charles Smith's cart. He is out of this one. And that brings it down to five carts going for three of the nicest trophies in racing. It is. It's a good one. You got, you got Mitchell out front right now. Trying to put a little bit of room between himself and second place. Trocky still right there. Erickson working on him now, trying to get into second. You got Eunice back there. 
hoping that they get to battle him pretty hard and he gets a trophy. They made a long ride down here. Twenty laps, nine one one memorial, racing fast for first responders. All the money raised on entries tonight goes directly to the foundation. Again, I challenge somebody out there to step up and make a donation to at least cover the balance on what these trophies cost to make sure because they, they bought these with the foundation and they suffered through two rainouts over at Volusia. Tried to get the show in over there, and it has just not went well trying to get the show in. Erickson bringing out the caution. He won't have to fall back far, though. But that closes the gap between Mitchell and Trockey. Trockey again on his first first run here at the bull ring with us. He won the 375s and the mediums the last time out at Volusia. So we know he's fast. One more time, we're going back green. Mitchell, Trocky, Eunice, and Erickson got a really good jump there. <laughs> he kind of jumped it. As we're winding these laps down here, Mitchell's still your leader. Got to give a mention to Zane Caleb out there in the number 14. Catching him a ride tonight. Not the card he's used to being in. His card owner decided that he wanted to keep it home tonight. And, uh, well, he's missing one heck of a show. But the couch is more comfortable, I guess. Halfway home, Corey Mitchell. Trocky still there in second. Erickson a little bit ways, a little bit further back. Eunice still waiting to see if anything happens. All right, rookies, you're going to be up next. The rookies are up next. So rookies should be heading to the grid. Rookies, your big race is next. We want to try to make sure we get some driver introductions in. We'll try to make it as brief as we can, but this is all about these kids tonight, so I want to make sure that they are the rock stars here tonight. Corey Mitchell navigating the bumps in turn one and two, getting through them pretty good. Again, we have had a ton of rain here over the last few few months really uh, especially this week the track crew worked I'm going to say tirelessly to try to get this crew or this track into shape to make sure these races happen tonight lots of people wanting to come out and run in Carson's race and in this memorial race as well to raise money for racing fast for first responders five laps to go Corey Mitchell looking to put a signature piece of hardware up on the shelf tonight Anybody in racing would love to have that trophy on their shelf. And Corey Mitchell's going to be four laps away from putting this one down. A 
Rookies to the grid, rookies to the grid. Your driver introductions on the front straightaway are up next. Rookies, rookies, rookies. Two laps to go in the 911 Memorial Race. Corey Mitchell, still the leader. He's let it flag to flag, but there's still two more to go. Can his cart hold on? Can he hold on? Can Trocky close the gap up? We're running out of time here as Mitchell's coming off a of four. We're going to be looking at the white flag. Here we go with the checkered flag. The winner of the 911 Memorial Race, Corey Mitchell. Trocky second, Eric. Uh, I believe Zane's in the money. He'll be happy about that. Let's go down here and talk to them. Bring some good hardware down. We'll take them down. I'll help you. She's got it. All right, Ed, we got the rookies already hot and ready coming out here, but we're going to award some hardware here. Take a look at those trophies one more time. Those were paid for, purchased by Racing Fast for First Responders. This race was meant to raise some money for their foundation. I, 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 again, I challenge everybody to go to, the, go to Tony Mesa's Facebook page, go to the Racing Fast for First Responders page, and... Uh, Please make a donation. This money that they raise goes directly to help the families of injured first responders. All right, we're going to get in here and talk to the winner, Corey Mitchell. I don't know how he got his helmet off after that. Corey Mitchell, you uh, you got out front. You didn't look back. You had to navigate some, some rumble strips over there. It's starting to... Uh, show all the rain that we've had this week, but uh, I know you got a few people you want to thank. Hey, rookies, I know y'all are excited to go, but we are trying to take pictures out here. Um, I, it's a big race, I agree. Y'all got a big one, but let's, this is the 911 Memorial Race, so we want to make sure we get a chance to interview these and we got our photographer here. Corey Mitchell, who you want to thank, man? Well, I mean, I got Chop Speed Shop, a lot of family here tonight. Track, do the best you can with what you got. We're running it. Heck yeah, that's the that's the way we all should be, man. That's it's against the track, and we've probably had I bet we've had 10, 15 inches of rain here this week. So congratulations on the win. I know that piece of hardware right there is going to be front and center somewhere. Oh, yeah. Michael Trocky, man. This uh this uh, first trip to the bull ring, I wish we hadn't had 10 inches or 20, 15, whatever we've had for rain here. I mean, we've had ponds around here. So uh, I wish we could have gave you a little bit better through the corners, but these trust me, these guys worked hard on this to try to get it the best we could. But i seen you over there going, why am I here? <laughs> so who do you want to thank, man? Uh, my dad and Corey Holly for helping out, um, giving tips and 
making the cart better and better. Well, for a first trip here, man, you ain't far off. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking you may go make an adjustment and come back and win the next one. So we'll, uh, we thank you for coming out here and running with us tonight. James Erickson. I know that, that piece of hardware there is going to find a nice piece of, or a nice spot on the shelf, ain't it? Oh, yeah, probably my son's room. In your son's room? Yeah, I mean, I, he'll love that. We, I know you got some people to thank real quick. Uh, I'd like to thank my kids for coming to help me all the time, my dad, my mom, and uh, Brandon Holland, and Rich Hill. All right, and we appreciate the donation for the kids' rookie race from Erickson Motorsports, taking care of that, making it awesome. Oh, oh, I'm over here. I didn't ruin it. Uh, we're good, we're good. All right, you want to line them up there? All right, let's, um, let's take these kids and kind of, if you're on the pole, outside pole, kind of give a little thing so you can just kind of roll out. We'll kind of get you all semi-lined up however we can, or we'll just go ahead and line you up. If you all want to do that, we'll just line you up. We just want to get a quick interview with the kids because this night has been about them. We want to kind of ease the tension a little bit on some of them. And, uh, and just make sure that everybody's here to have some fun. This is the biggest rookie purse ever paid anywhere in the world. And all of the money was raised by y'all, by the sponsors, by the people, by the friends of the family, by the friends of Carson's family. And we want to say, you know, I think I speak for the whole family, especially when I say thank you to everybody who came out, stepped up, and made this possible. We've had people criticize for paying too much, but I hope that they've watched this show tonight and know that this is all about hanging out with your family, being with your kids, no pressure. And uh, every one of these dads that I see out here tonight is going to give a child a big hug when this race is over. We have some of the nice trophies from Dale Rogers flooring. The next 10 will be getting some, uh, some medals. We have $50 even for last place, an award that came out of, um, and I'll get the name when I'm up there, um, in, in memory of a young man that passed away. So we wanna make sure we uh, talk to these kids. We've got the pole sitter sitting here getting the last minute information. The fist pump is in. He's ready to go. I just have one question for you. What would you do with $1,000? He looks over this way really quick and goes, wait a minute, what's the right answer for that one? If he does win it, he'll get 250 back to the family. They're going to make a donation back to the family if they win. He's just concentrating. He's ready to go. Well, good luck. Mr. Gamble. You ready? You ready to have some fun? You gonna sling a little bit of dirt out there? You look good in the heat race. How, what, uh, you know, who do you, uh, or what, what would you do with a thousand dollars? Um, I don't know yet. He doesn't know yet. He's gonna be thinking about. Don't be thinking about that part out there. Tonight, it's just having a good time, and we'll see if we see the seventy-seven card out front. Now, I know. I, I think I know what Eli would do. He would probably buy like a hundred go karts, wouldn't he? What would you do with a thousand dollars, Eli? An Xbox? Man, you could buy a bunch of Xboxes, couldn't you? Good luck, bud. The magic question tonight. I see Super 8 Series. Man, you've been around, haven't you? What are you, like 25, 30 years old? Been racing forever? <laughs> what would you do with $1,000? Buy go-karts. What's that? I said buy go-kart. Buy go-kart. I think you got one. It's a pretty fast go-kart. <laughs> Good luck tonight. Mr. LeBraid. You are you are focused, aren't you? <laughs> you ready for this one? You wanna put that trophy on the shelf, right? What would you do with a thousand dollars? Give a portion of it to to the family. That's that's an awesome answer. Give a portion to the family. Good luck out there. Ethan? We wanted to put this race together just for you and your brother in memory of your little brother. We are so proud of you for coming out here tonight and being brave and racing with us. 
We, we, we love your family, and, uh, and we hope that this is the funnest race that you've ever had in your life when it's all over. So I want you to just, what, what would you do with $1,000? Go to the beach. Go to the beach. Hey, I'll tell you what. I mean, he thought this one through. He's ready for a trip to the beach. Well, we'll all be pulling for you, Ethan. We got the picture of baby Carson on the front of your cart. Everybody's got Carson riding on their cart side. If you don't, we have the racers. We do have stickers for y'all. Come out here. Braden Britt, always the most serious looking all of rookie racing. What would you do with $1,000? I would donate 500 back to da um, Tyler, and I would buy a new phone. Buy a new what? I was like, farm? What are you going to do with a farm? You're going to buy a new phone and donate 500 back to the family. Pretty cool. Good luck out there, Braden. Is that for me? Oh, see, I, that's, this, is, this is right here. I mean, I mean, they brought ice cream. I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's the way to the announcer's heart right there. And uh, courtesy of Rick, the ice cream man out there. Y'all go visit him. That's some darn good ice cream. Mr. Warden, what would you do with $1,000? He wants a new motor. Yeah, you got radical all over that thing. I mean, that's pretty. Oh, it's a hand-me-down, so he's ready for some more power. Well, you look pretty fast out there in the heat race, so we'll. Uh, I think that we're going to see you up there battling for the lead. Good luck, bud. Hand me up. Hand me up. <laughs> the, amount, the, the, the big question, I guess it's the $1,000 question. What would you do with $1,000? Make my go-kart faster. Make your go-kart faster. Hmm. It looks pretty fast. I mean, I was having trouble keeping up watching you on the track out there earlier. <laughs> Good luck. Are you ready for bed? You kind of almost look like you're ready to go to sleep. <laughs> what would you do with $1,000, Mr. Elwood? I would get a new motor. Another new motor. Okay, all you motor builders out there. Y'all are taking notes, right? Motor builders. Why don't y'all take notes? There's some kids out here that want some new motors. Mr. Overly, what would you do with $1,000? Buy a Lego set. Legos? That's a lot of Legos, man. You could build a whole house out of Legos. Where's Pete at? <laughs> you can have a house full of Legos. This boy wins. Connor Wilkerson. Now, I was watching you in the heat race, and I think you've been watching that Clay Harris guy a little too much in them late models, trying to lay it out there on the on the cushion and just drive it to the front. But that was pretty awesome watching you do that. What would you do with a thousand dollars? Give some of it to um, Carson. He would give some of it to Carson. That's pretty cool. Good luck out there, bud. We'll go back this way. Winner of the B Main and. It looks like a long way up there, but I see how fast you were in that race. I'm pretty sure you're going to be you know, trying to get up there and get this one won, aren't you? What would you do with $1,000? Buy a new motor. New motor. Well, hey, you've already got $100 tonight. I mean, with another 100 I'm thinking one of these engine builders might cut you a deal. <laughs> There's a lot of them out there, all right? There's a lot of engine builders. Carson Erickson, the rocket ship down the back straightaway. I'm looking over here for your rocket boost button. I don't see it. You got it hidden really well, don't you? What would you do with a thousand dollars? A dirt bike. Uh oh, he's looking for two wheels, Dad. <laughs> Good luck, bud. Luke, I'm not even going to try to say your last name, even though you tried to tell me how. So again, if y'all don't know, this is Luke. His little brother is one of the reasons we're, or is the reason we're racing here tonight, racing for baby Carson, and uh, Luke. We're so proud of you for coming out here and running with us and, and just being brave. And I knew that y'all wanted to get out here and race, and I'm glad you're here racing with us tonight. What what would you do with $1,000? I would get a raffle motor. Another motor. Man, I'm, t I'm, looking for these, I'm looking for these engine builders. I don't even see one by the fence. I'd be over here just foaming. <laughs> I mean, I haven't heard anybody say they visit the parts trailer, but they're all going to buy a motor. <laughs> all right. See which card I'm kneeling down by here, Jackson. Yeah, Jackson. I'm thinking new helmet. I'm looking at the foam in your helmet thinking, Dad, fix this foam in his helmet before he goes out. <laughs> Definitely fix that. That's going to be a deterrent right there. It's not helping. But, Jackson, while your dad's fixing your helmet, before he does that, I want to ask you, what would you do with $1,000? Buy out stuff. Buy what? Out stuff. Buy out stuff? What would you say? Out. Art stuff. 
Art stuff. I mean, hey, I mean, you could buy a lot of stuff. That's a lot of pencils, paints, all kinds of crazy stuff. So, well, good luck, Jackson. We'll get your get you give you a minute here to let your dad get that that foam tucked back in. All right, we're working our way down the line. We're almost to the back back here. She's looking at me like, really? Is he going to ask me what I'm? He's, what would you do if you could run around the track ten times? You didn't know you were getting a different question, did you? She's like, no, I'm not running around your track. <laughs> what would you do with a thousand dollars? She'd give some of it to her daddy. There you go, right there. The other dads. That's the only one that said they were giving any to y'all. <laughs> Come over here to the Foster Mobile. That's a pretty cool pedal setup you got right there. What would you do with a thousand dollars? Another motor. I still don't see any engine builders down here. Where they should be, they should be jogging down the front straightaway or skipping at this point. And we're back here with Andrew Swiatek. Made the ride up here from down south. Andrew, it's a long way up there, but tell you what, bud, for a thousand dollars, they might get the bumper on each other, and you might be sitting in a pretty good place. Just kind of drive around it if it happens. What would you do with a thousand dollars? said he would donate it back to Ethan, Luke, and Tyler. Awesome. Well, that is our rookie field, and I hope y'all are ready for this one. 15 laps. 15 laps for the biggest purse ever paid in a rookie race. We've made sure the best we can to talk to all the parents to make sure that all these kids aren't going to get anything but a hug after this race. It was only 20 bucks to enter this one. No charge for parking, no charge for anything else. That way, Daddy didn't spend a million dollars to get him out here. They just coming to have fun. Flagman looks him over. 15 laps for the biggest person rookie racing history. $1,000 to win. $500 for second. $225 for third. $150 for fourth. $125 for fifth. Flagman looks them over. They're ready. Green flags out. Miss you to the front. Noah miss you with an awesome start. He was ready to go. Very focused. Ready to roll. And they are... Out there, we got 19 rookies on the track. 19 of them out there. Here comes Eli Sykes. Looking to the outside of Miss You. Miss You's back in the lead. Here's Eli to the inside. Eli Sykes looking for the lead. Miss You pulls it back down. We've got a caution flag out. We've got a few of them around down here. Down in turn four. Had some contact down there. Looks like the 77. Of Gamble, I can't quite see the card on the outside. I'm trying to see who's missing in the bunch. We're going to get them all stopped here. Now, we do these standing starts. Trying to be careful here to get the crew back on. Need to make sure all the parents stay in the infield. All the parents need to stay in the infield. Don't touch the carts. Parents, back to the infield. Don't touch the carts. Off the track. Parents off the track. Off the track, Brandon. Off the track, dude. The black flag is in the air for any parents that are on the track right now. Please don't get your kid thrown out of this race over being on the track. They've got it under control. They all know what they're here for. We're going to do our best to get them lined back up. All right, while they're lining them up, I'm going to run down this list of sponsors real quick because we need to mention 
the generosity of some of these folks that have uh, chipped in, came up for the family, and just really, really stepped up. We had the raffle earlier, Scuts Carts and Parts, gave away a body and got $568. I'm watching a dad hold a throttle, I'm hoping, and not being adjusted on a carburetor. Brandon. We need Brandon Britt off the track, please. Brandon off the track. You can't be on the track, parents. You can't be on the track. So any adjustments that were made just now, the camera was right on. It's, I know we want to get them lined up as quick as we can so nobody fouls the plug and all that good stuff. They've got transponders on them. We go back to the last completed lap. So we know where they were. They're still back there working with Gamble, trying to make sure everything's good. They're wheeling him back up. All right, running down that list of sponsors, Scuts Carts and Parts. They donated the body race, $568 that goes to the family. Chemical Chaos came on board to sponsor this race. Andy Partridge and uh, Stephanie LeMayo back there. Big thanks to them. New Image Landscaping. Sean Haber, always a big sponsor. American Eagle Enterprises. That's the 3R racing team back there. They came on board to sponsor. Quality Marine Surplus, always a sponsor of our kids' classes. Raging Bull Racing Engines. Big thanks to Brandon Bull and that whole bunch down there. They aren't here with us tonight, but they wanted to help support this race. Brandon Bull, Raging Bull Racing Engines. We have Dirts for Racing. I had uh, Candace call or wrote me, wanted to be part of this, wanted to donate, made a donation to the race. We appreciate that. Dirts for Racing. Check them out. Continental Fire Training Academy. They also chipped, chipped in as well. Continental Fire Racing, or Fire Racing, Fire Training Academy. First Coast Model Boaters and Three Blades Racing, both boat clubs that the kids, um, that, that Tyler, um, Carson's dad, was part of. They wanted to come on board be part of this tonight. TM Automotive, TM Automotive, Todd Mayton and his automotive and Performance shop located right over on 36th Avenue. Todd Mayton, go visit him if you need anything fixed on your car. John Allen Plumbing, big thanks to John Allen, made a very generous donation and uh, yeah, a very touching story that went with that, and I just want to thank John Allen as well. All right, we're going to hand the flag off to Bill so he can walk down there to him so that they don't have to turn around and look. We don't want that to be an issue. Bill will start them. They'll all be able to see him down there. Remember, dads, this is for fun. This is all for fun. Last completed lap, this is where they were. They've got transponders. Bill will go down there where everyone can see him. They'll all be ready to go, and we are going back green. Off we go. Eli Sykes to the inside. Looks for the lead. Going to take it for Miss you. Back to the top, though, and he gets turned around back there. He, oh. We've got contact on the back straightaway. Red flag's going to come out. Eli had took the lead. There was contact back there. 
getting our medics back there. Check them out. Make sure everyone's all right. All right, we're going to tell the dads they can cut them off while we check on these kids. We're going to try to keep them from fouling plugs. You want to check on the kids back there, make sure they're all right. We're still back there checking on Eli, making sure he's all right. There was some contact back there. It was pretty hard. Eli had taken the lead. May have got a little bit of help, but I don't have the instant replay in front of me, so I'm good on that one. These are five- to eight-year-old rookies, so these are all beginners out here for the better part. You do have some kids that have been racing for a couple years, so you've got a, a mixture of kids, but... I would say that we clearly have the ones up front that have a little more experience right now. Making sure all these dads are down here saying, hey, we're, you know, having fun, trying to have some fun. They'll get them all lined back up while we're doing this. We're checking on the kids back there. All right, they're going to they're trying to get them lined back up here and get everybody ready so when we go back to green we're good. We got some kids with some face up or fogged up face shields. A little bit of a challenge with this many kids on the track. You don't normally have a rookie race with 18, 19 carts, but all of them wanted to be in this. All of them wanted to be part of this. Reminder to everybody in the pits as the features go through tonight, the purse payouts are in the tower after you clear tech. Please don't come up here during the middle of a race unless we do have someone ready to um, hand them out. I'm still looking around to make sure we got enough people and all that good stuff.
All right, Eli Sykes going to take it to the pits. The dads are all going to fire them back up one more time. Dads, grandpas, everybody out there. Hopefully they had a few encouraging words. I see a few that are um, starting to get that race, Dad. Look. Back to green flag. Here comes Ethan down the outside, looking to try to get to the lead, but Miss you pulls it back out front. Ethan trying again. Laprade's on the inside. What? I'm the, I missed something completely, didn't I? <laughs> I see everybody run. I'm, I think it's behind that over here. I can't see where they're at. There's a dirt bank right there. I think we got one in the dirt bank. I do not have a visual on who found some dirt back there. Looks like a couple of them did. Looks like the Hulk cart, Ethan Morton. I believe that's Abel Overly back there. Looks like everybody's going to get lined back up all right. They're battling hard. There's a lot of money on the line. A lot of them want it. They just want to win. The battle for the lead was heating up back there. I hope we can get some consecutive green flag laps in to let them really get at it.
They are lined back up. All dads to the infield. Last minute hand signals. That usually don't work out real well when they're looking at dad and not at the flagman. We've got Bill down there with the flag. He's standing in front of him so that he's in a position where everybody's ready and can see him. Looking like they're having trouble getting Luke's cart started. Want to make sure we get him cranked because this memory, this race is in memory of his little brother. So we're trying everything we can to make sure he gets to race the whole thing. Glad somebody else ran up there to help him. It's pretty cool that these guys are just trying to make sure that the kids make it out. It looks like it looks like Luke's cart may have fouled the plug. They're gonna wheel him down in the infield. So Luke Selenjevic's out of the race. He'll join Eli Sykes. Green flag is out. And it looks like they got Luke's cart fired right back up at the last second. Miss you, your leader. LaPrade in second. LaPrade looking to the inside. Here comes Ethan. Gamble is behind him. Hasalu behind him. Your top five will be taking home some good money tonight to buy new Lego sets or motors or art sets and all kinds of stuff. Here we go. Now you can see them spread out around the track. There are still 18 rookie carts out there racing for this 1,000 to win prize. La Prade to the bottom. Miss you up high. Mishu pulls it back down in front. Ethan Shellenjevic still right there in third. Gamble in the 77, still in striking distance as well. If anything happens up front, here comes LaPrade. A little bump to the back bumper. Mishu a little bit sideways, gathers it, gathers it back up. Now they're running down the lapped cart here real soon. Let's see if this comes into play. I know Carson was having a little bit of trouble back there. It looks like Mishu to the inside. Gets around him all right. LaPrade to the inside. We got a side-by-side -side battle for third. Here comes Gamble on the outside. Gamble gets to third. Ethan falls back to fourth. Hazalu fifth. Elwood sixth. We got Britt back there in seventh. Here's Elwood in contact with Hazalu, but Elwood brings it up to fifth or fourth now. We've got someone over there. It's hard to see on the other side of the dirt bank. All the dads will look out here to make sure that it wasn't there, son. We got a few green flag laps in that time. Got some good racing going. And we'll try to get him to come to a stop now. Looks like everybody's woeing him up. We'll get him lined back up. Junior one should be at the grid. Junior one, I know it's hard not to be up by the fence and watching all this, but junior one, we need to make sure you're at the grid and ready to go. You're up next. Carson Erickson taking it to the pits. Looked like he had something going, starting to go wrong with the cart.
All right, we're back to racing, and it looks like LaPray got a better start that time. Miss you. Going to get it wound up here. He gets out high, gets turned around. We're going to pray everybody misses him there. And he is trying to get it going. Looks like his clutch was battling with him, trying to get it. That puts LaPrade out front. Gamble, Shellingevitz. I want you to know that the number five that won the B main is up to fourth place. Camden Harp. He was fast in that race. That might have been an extra little tuner race for him to help him get up to the front because Harp is coming. So up front, you have LaPrade, but Gamble, he's won a feature race here. He is he knows his way around. Let's see if he can do anything with LaPrade on this one. That's a battle for $1,000 versus $500 right there. So they'll be thinking about it. Now, the cart that's up in front of him was previously our leader. He got spun around up there. We kept it green. We've had so many cautions here. We knew he was safe. If we can safely keep it green on a big track like this, we will. With the time limit, we're going to bump this down to five. Well, I say, I think they've actually got 10 in. But they're running out lap traffic now. The leader is the black number 18 of LaPrade. 77 is your second place cart. That's Gamble. And they're coming up on the lap carts now. We're going to see some contact to the outside. LaPrade is hung up behind a lap cart. He gets to the inside. Gamble shows the outside lane. Now Gamble's going to try to get by. Gamble to the inside. That's the pass. Oh, no. He cuts it off. He LaPrade knew he was coming. Made sure that that door was closed right there. They're going to have three more carts to try to get around right here. That's the battle for the lead. LaPrade, Gamble, one, two, three carts in front of her. Gamble to the inside. Gamble takes the lead. LaPrade's hung up behind the cart of Connor Wilkerson. LaPrade's going to have to get back to him now. Two laps to go. Two laps to go. Gamble has taken the lead. LaPrade coming back now. Here he comes to the inside. LaPrade to the inside. He's got the lead back. Gamble back on the outside. They're back around each other. They are going to be looking at the white flag this time by. Gamble back to the inside now. LaPrade gets back clear. It looks like they're going to be clear sailing. It's just the two of them now. LaPrade's got a pretty comfortable lead as they go down the back straightaway. The white flag is out. Harp is all the way up to third after winning the B main. He's in the money. He's going to be taking home some good cash tonight, but the biggest...
All right, we are out here. We are now to our junior one. Been a long night, been a long night. All right. Bill playing musical carts out there on the front straightaway. All right, we're going to get this junior one race underway. We've got Parker Haley on the pole, Hayden Erickson outside pole. Trey, what's that? Let me make sure I got that right. Trey Ford. Okay, in the number five. Wilkerson just had a problem down there in the bottom of turn two. I don't know what happened to her, but she drove it straight into the dirt bank. I said, we're here for the kids. And I, I'll tell you what, there were so many people coming there just waiting for him to say something else. Outside the black car, too. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right, Parker Haley, Hayden Erickson leading them back around. I'm going to try to get this junior one race underway. Uh, all right, we're going to try again. We're going to try to let them get a good start together. Junior two, bring them to the grid. Junior two, you're on the grid, followed by junior three. Junior two and junior three. I gotta try to get this one started there, staying side by side this time. Tyler's gonna turn them loose. Get this race underway. Let them race it out now. Here we go. Parker Haley to the lead. Trey Ford going to try to follow him through. Hayden Erickson still right there. One, two, three. Got Kelsey Wilkerson and Braden Humphreys back there running.
Junior two, make sure you're bringing them up. Junior two, bring them up. Trophy provider for this race tonight, Old Fart Racing. Old Fart Racing, Mike Sigler, making sure we have plenty of trophies for these kids out here, some nice trophies. Quality Marine Surplus and Dan Donaldson, Terry Donaldson, always making sure the kids have a little bit of cash to run for. Winners of all the features tonight, getting those tickets to go over and watch some stock car racing over at Volusia Speedway Park. Your top three are still pretty much right there together. Haley really hasn't gotten too far away from Ford. Erickson's still right there with him. She's ready to strike at any time. Halfway home in this junior feature, junior one feature, junior twos, you should be at the grid, junior two at the grid. Lap car to Humphrey, sliding up high, letting the leaders go by. Glad to see he got that car, looks like he got the carburetor fixed. Pushes it all the way out of the berm, gets it around. He should be able to keep going, though, and there's nobody around, so we'll keep it green. He's trying. Probably got some clutch slippage there trying to climb a hill. And Humphreys back out front. Got him weaving through the traffic again with two laps to go. Trey Ford still right there with Parker Haley. Ford looks into the inside, going to try to make the pass. He didn't get quite far enough up there. Haley keeping the line. Got a good little race for the lead right here. White flag lap. Both wanting to take this win home. And uh, $50 is pretty nice, too. Haley still out front. Trey Ford. Got one more set of corners to try to get it done. Ford drives it off in there. He's going to look to the outside, but your winner is going to be Parker Haley. Trey Ford second, Hayden Erickson third, Braden Humphrey fourth, and Kelsey Wilkerson brings it home in fifth. We'll go reverse order here. Maybe we'll make it work faster. Say, come on, Dad. Got to do my interview here. That, that, that hair out of the face. And Hayden Erickson, third place, junior one. Who you want to thank tonight? Um, my dad and my papa and my family. Awesome. Good job out there tonight. Getting faster every week. Who we got? Trey. Good job out there tonight, man. I thought you had it for a second. I mean, you pulled up on him. Who do you want to thank? Um, my dad, my mom, my grandpa, my grandma, everybody that helped me get here today. Cool, man. Well, there's a lot of people it takes, but it's good that y'all are working together. You got some good teamwork going, and thanks for coming and racing with us tonight, bud. Uh, 
I missed. Parker Haley, another win on the season, man. Who do you want to thank? My dad, and my crew chiefs, and my other crew chief, Catlin, laid out, so we had the other crew chief come. You got multiple crew chiefs? I tell you what, I can't even get me one. Good job out there tonight. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thanks, man. It's a great show. Thank you. I'll hold it for you. Yes, ma'am. Junior two feature on the track now. Junior three, we need you to stage and if I could get uh get some, we need to turn in the transponders. Rookies, please turn your transponders in. Rookies, please turn your transponders in. We're trying to get everything situated where we can get someone up here to do the payouts. We need to make sure everybody's cleared tech. And uh Trying to get everybody taken care of. If I could get, I think I need Danielle up here. If we got someone down there that can cover that. Um, junior two's on the track. Robbie Stout on the pole. Zach Zachary outside pole. They're going to fan them out at least three wide on the front straightaway. Randy Smith to the lead. He got a really good start. Here comes Preston Arbogast. He is looking at second, going to try to take it all the way to the front. Randy's going to have the pull down into the corner. Randy Smith, Preston Arbogast, 1-2 after the first lap. Robbie Stout, Nolan Mesa, Zach Zachary, Nelson. We got a little bit of contact back there. The next few positions, here comes Trenton Rivera down the inside, taking advantage of that one. Moving himself up to the seventh position. Out front, Randy Smith. No, excuse me, Preston Arbogast. Hey, it's getting late. <laughs> Sorry. Preston Arbogast. Preston will, Preston will get on to me later. So Preston Arbogast into the lead. Randy Smith second. Here's Robbie Stout. Gives a stout bump to the back bumper of Randy Smith. Let's him know he's there. Nolan Mesa hanging on. Nelson now has moved up to the fifth position. Here comes Robbie Stout down the inside and Stout to second. We've got some contact back there again. Smith and Stout getting together. That allows Mesa to move up to third. Here comes Smith back and Smith gives the bump to the back bumper of Mesa. They're definitely in a bumpy kind of mood tonight. There's a little bit of everybody. Halfway home, junior two feature, out front, Preston Arbogast, Robbie Stout second, Nolan Mesa third. And if Randy quit bumping that back bumper, he might be able to go back around Mesa because there's 60-foot of racetrack out there. Robbie Stout may need a caution to close that gap up because Preston Arbogast is stretching it out now. Mesa got a little bit of room between himself and... Smith, Zachary now is back up to fifth. Nelson and Rivera battling it out back there for position. Trent and Rivera to the inside of Zachary. That's a battle for fifth, or yeah, fifth. That's our side by side. They're gonna go three wide for fifth back here. Nelson to the very outside. Nelson riding that cushion around the top, looking good out there, made it stick. We got the 11 moving in there. That's Lila Miller. Lila Miller. Miller pulls up on the back bumper of Zachary. 
They're battling out back there. Meanwhile, up front, that white flag's in the air. Preston Arbogast, I know we haven't said a whole lot, but he's got a pretty comfortable lead. Not much left to navigate on that one. Arbogast stout. Right here, though, this one's been all Preston Arbogast. Your feature winner, junior two, Preston Arbogast. Robbie Stout bringing it home second. Mesa. If we could get um, like somebody to go help the kid on the back straightaway that's back there, that'd be great. Thank you. I think we got one walking back there. I don't know. Dude, I broke your trophy when I pulled that off the wall. I'll fix it, man, okay? I promise I'll get you a better, I'll get you something. I know you came a long way for a trophy that just broke. Just hold it. I didn't really want the trophy, but. You did a good job out there. You earned that, man. You earned it, dude. Hold on. All right, Preston. You did a good job out there, man. I know you got to thank some people here. I'm trying to get to you. Who do you want to thank? I want to thank Brian Stutz Cart Parts for this amazing cart, obviously. I want to thank Head Rush for this amazing motor. I want to thank my dad and Sean and um, Brian for the tires. Technically, everyone worked on it. I just want to thank everyone for it. Did you write that script for him? I mean, that was perfect. I mean, someone wrote that script. That's that was well rehearsed. Good job out there, Preston. Congratulations on your win. Robbie, second place, man. Who do you want to thank? Uh, Victor Peters and my family for uh, helping me. And thank you for your help today, helping get people parked and stuff. We appreciate you and your dad for coming out here and doing that for us and, and helping with all this. Nolan, good job out there. Who do you want to thank? I'd like to thank my parents and, and my sister for coming out here and supporting me. And I'd also like to thank God because without him, I wouldn't even be here. Awesome. He wants to thank his parents, his sister, and thank God for without him, he wouldn't be here. Well said, well said. Junior three feature, green flag racing. Timothy Zachary out front, but he's got a crowd of angry hornets behind him. Hannah Smith 
Makes that early look to the inside. Zachary Smith and Phelps, one, two, three. You got C.J. Nelson up there, too. Travis Brown making a pass there. And that number 20 moving up to the sixth position. Up front, you still got Zachary and Smith. Hannah doesn't, well, doesn't like second very much, though. She came to win. Zachary slides up the track a little bit. That allows Hannah Smith to get a good run. If she'd have looked to the inside, she may have had a little better one. She gives Zachary a push down into three. Let's him know she's right there. He's sliding up a little bit off of two. We'll see how she sizes him up through one and two this time. Hannah Smith to the bottom, Zachary to the top. He's still holding on. Here comes Hannah Smith to the bottom. They shake each other off right there. Phelps is still right there waiting to see what these two do with each other. We got one around down there in turn number one. Sounds like he may have a chain off or something. He's throttling the snot out of it and it ain't going nowhere. Something's up with that cart. Tanner Cheatham back there. It's rolling again. I don't know what is what happened to it, but it certainly wasn't, wasn't responding the way he wanted to. Look out, Bill, in case they think they're going green. All right, we got one stopped in the bottom of the back straight away back there. I don't have anybody. Whoever's over there at the scales wanting to fight about go-kart racing, stop and think about what you're doing for a second. Whoever's over there at the scales wanting to fight over go-kart racing, you have forgotten what we're here for tonight. I will put you on camera, and we'll put you on live TV and at least make a buck off you if you want to be crazy about go-kart racing. Don't forget why you're here tonight. I'll announce your names to everybody. It's go-kart racing, and we're here to have a good time. And if you didn't come to have a good time, you're in the wrong place. Junior three, getting ready to go back to green. Lights out. Zachary, your leader. Smith, second. Phelps, third. Nelson, fourth. Here we go, green flag. Down to turn one. Smith looking to the inside. She's had a pretty good run off of two several times. Here comes Phelps down the backside. Down the outside, on the back straightaway. I'll get it right here in a minute. Zachary, still your leader, up off a of turn four. Junior three feature event. 
Crate 375, Crate 375, you should be on the grid. Crate 375, you should be on the grid. Followed by Box Stock 400, Crate 375 and Box Stock 400. You should be at the grid. Let's keep this rolling. Junior three is halfway home. Zachary's still your leader, but he's got Hannah Smith and Lee Phelps right behind him. Both of them looking for a way around. Smith pushing, Smith pushing, Smith pushing. Here comes Phelps down the outside. Zachary shakes her off. Phelps going to look to the inside. They line him back up. That's given a chance for Aiden Sykes to get back into this one. He's right there now in the number four, Stalking. He's got some tornado power on there. See what he can do with it. I believe you got four different engine builders right there in the front all together. Zachary still holding on. Hannah Smith looking for a way around. Here comes Aiden Sykes down the inside. The number four takes the third position away. Down in the corner, Phelps with a big hit to the back bumper. Didn't do him any good. It just sent him to the top of the track. Lost ground on that one. Down into turn number one. Zachary still leading. He's still sliding out. Here comes Hannah Smith with a big run down the back straightaway again. She closes the gap all the way up in turn three. It's going to be two laps to go. Zachary brings it back to the bottom. Smith right there behind him. Zachary, Smith, those are teammates right there racing for it. Smith to the inside. Zachary right there with her. He shakes her off one more time. Here comes Aiden Sykes. If he gets in on this on the last lap, it is going to be crazy. Zachary through the bumps, turns it back down to the bottom, closes the whole bottom groove off. White flags in the air, last lap. Zachary, Smith, Sykes. Zachary out front. He's got one more set of corners to get it through. He's got Hannah Smith right there behind him. Sykes is with it. Down through three and four. He's going to send it down the front straight away. And Timothy Zachary's going to win the Junior 3 feature event. Hannah, Sykes, <laughs> Hannah Smith is second. And Aiden Sykes is third. If y'all wonder why I get a little bit excited, it's been a little while since my boy won one. It is so hard to finish in front of Hannah out here because she is so dang good. But Hannah Sykes, or Hannah, Aiden Sykes got up there, got in on the battle, and what a race they had. And Timothy Zachary, with the help of his teammate, Hannah Sykes, or Hannah, Hannah Smith's dad, I'm just happy, okay? There's a few people back there in the pits that chose to come to a go-kart race and not be happy. We're out here to have a good time, and... Uh, that's what's up. I want a picture of that raggedy rag hanging off your face. Good job, man. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job. Every direction, Hannah. That was a real good race. You were all over him. All over him. You made him work for it. And then this guy comes out of nowhere. Aiden Sykes. You come out of nowhere, bud, and you made it You made it a three-car race right there at the end. I wish you'd have been there right from the beginning because y'all were battling up front. Who do you want to thank, bud? My engine builder, Tornado. Tornado. I have some Tornado power that brought it to the front right there. Good job, Aiden. <laughs> Hannah Smith. Woo. They had to step up their game to come and race with you. They're, they're working a little harder now. They're like, we got to do everything we can to beat this girl. But uh, you were you were coming. You tried him on the bottom. You had a good runs down the back straightaway every time. I thought a few times. I thought you had him. But uh, who do you want to thank? I want to thank my dad and Kryptonite Racing. Well, good job out there tonight. I know we'll be seeing you with a first place trophy again soon. All right. I'm 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 glad that this kind of stuff is on camera. That we can have it forever. This is my son, Timothy Zachary. He has been trying for a while to finish in front of Hannah because Hannah is so hard to beat out there and she gave him everything he worked for it tonight and uh, just give you a chance this right here Charles Smith he uh, he worked on this cart and for and you know that just says a lot that he made this cart fast enough and made sure that these kids are all leaving out here so uh, who do you want to thank bud uh, I want to thank my dad Tim Zachary for putting on the show and getting me the cart and I want to thank uh, Charles Smith of Kryptonite Racing for uh, getting this car put together and making sure everything was right for me. Awesome job out there tonight, bud. Let's get some pictures.
All right, you got your crate 375s out on the track right now. I need the box stock 400s. Box stock 400, you're on the grid, followed by Run What You Brung. Box stock 400, Run What You Brung. Make sure you're at the grid. You got a pretty good field out here. They've all been chasing the same cart for a good part of the season now. That number 21 out front has been a carb one to catch, Buster Grizzab. Let's see if anyone can get to him tonight. Buster Grizzab on the 1990s Ultra Max chassis. Rolling it out front. Straight rail. Hashtag straight rail. Crate engine, so everybody got the same motor. Yeah, looks like we got one. Out of my field of vision. Ah, oh, he's perfectly behind the telephone pole. That's what happens when you get these these lenses that, that do all this crazy stuff and you're trying to look out the, you know, things and you can't see. Box stock 400 and run what you brung. Make sure you're at the grid. Box stock 400, run what you brung. Make sure you're at the grid. All right, I had some keys turned in at the tower. They have a, um, a little turtle on them with some little, little diamond looking things on them and a uh, to your health spa card. So that's probably a healthy person. Probably not gonna be, if you come up here and you're 400 pounds, don't tell me it's yours. <laughs> it's time to be funny folks. It's getting late at night. The jokes are gonna get worse. I could hit your car alarm. It's got, a, it's got an alert button on it. That might let us know who they are, but if you got a little turtle and a little to your health thing and you drive a Chevrolet, um, I got your keys up here. There's Ford people already trying to attack me for them. All right, we have a few transponders still out there. Gamble and Elwood, we need your transponders from the rookie race. Gamble, Gamble and Elwood. And we have one more, one more that's out there. I don't have a license on. Please, if you've got a transponder out there, please bring them back up. We've got your driver's licenses for the other two. Someone managed to get out of here without their driver's license. They're giving up their driver's license. But if you got one, please, rookie drivers, check your, check your transponder. Happy or unhappy, this is about the next person getting to race with a transponder. All we have to do is go look back down the lineup and check everybody who did it, so we'll know who has it by the end of the night. Back to green flag racing in the 375 crate class. Grizzab, Connectal, and Cooper. Those are your front three. Connect on making a little attempt there to shake up Grizzab. It's so hard to do. She swings down to block the pass on Cooper. That allows the 21 to get up there. Excuse me, the 51. <laughs> Connectal's dad, Rick. <laughs> it's a very similar paint scheme to a 21 in another class. Here comes Phillips down the inside on the back straightaway getting by Graw. Elizabeth Phillips in the 314 card out there tonight. I can remember that one. Very familiar number to me. <laughs> Phillips to the inside of Cooper now. She's going to take the fourth position. Here comes Graw. He's going to try to work with her to move it up to fifth. Cooper getting shuffled back in this one. 
Grizzum still up front. Then you got Connectal, Connectal, Phillips, Graw, and Cooper. That's your crate 375 field tonight. Halfway home, halfway home in the crate 375 class. Box stock 400, you're on deck, followed by Rum, what you brung? Box stock 400, followed by Rum, what you brung? Winding down the laps here. Buster Grizzab holding on to this lead. Connecto still right there in striking distance, hoping that Grizzab makes a mistake. They've put a little bit of room or a little bit of room between themselves and Rick Connectel. Elizabeth Phillips trying to get to the podium, but there's only two laps left. Crate 375. Grizzab gives a little wipe to the face shield, gets a clean view as he'll be looking at the white flag next time by here. Connecto getting around down there on the inside of turn three and four. White flag was in the air. Okay, he's saying that the white flag wasn't in the air. I don't know, I wasn't looking at him. I just, sometimes I just say things. All right, can have a little bit of dash to get to the uh, to the end here. Lead cart had not made it to the flag stand, had not took the white flag yet, so they're saying we're gonna go green white. Buster Grissom trying to make it at least three in a row that I can tell you of. Rick Connect, we're going to see if he can do anything about it. Elizabeth Phillips right there. Flagman showing off his skills, waving two flags at once. Elizabeth Phillips trying to work, her, work up Rick Connect a little bit. She's working on him hard there, but down through three and four. They'll be looking at the checkered flag. Grissom's going to win this one. Rick Connectel will be second. Phillips is going to make the podium. Graw, Cooper, and Connectel round out the field of Crate 375. Box Stock 400, you'll be rolling out next. Run What You Brung, followed by Predator 375. Run What You Brung is on the grid now, coming up to the grid now, and Predator 375 behind him. We still got this set of keys up here that's got the little turtle and the two your health ball thing on it. Make sure you have them. I don't need them. All right, I'll start at this end down here. Elizabeth Phillips at last lap uh, or last uh, corner thing there where uh, Amber got around. That sure worked out pretty good for you. So 
we're happy you came to run with us. I know that this was tough for you to get out here tonight. You gave it everything you had. And, and uh, well, I hope you're happy that you stayed. So who do you want to thank? Um, Sergio, Charles Smith, Troy, Corey, my God. Most, Most important. <laughs> Good job out there tonight. Congrats. Rick, is anybody going to be able to catch this guy? I was, I was trying. <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> I thought Amber might have had a chance, but I, I don't I know what happened. I thought she did. Uh, yeah. What do you want to thank, Matt? Oh, I'll thank my family for being part of this and uh, uh, friends at like Carl Whitehouse and giving me lots of pointers and helping me through learning stuff. So, Well, y'all get faster every week. I, I thought Amber had something for him tonight. <laughs> but this guy right here, this guy right here, I love to point it out. Antique, non-adjustable, ultramax. <laughs> Congrats on the win, three in a row. Who you want to thank? Uh, thank Lisa, my girlfriend, for showing up, my daughter again, and uh, hi, Mom, Tom. Hope you're watching, uh, and I appreciate TZ Motorsports. I didn't catch a sponsor from last week, but I appreciate them, and, and an, again, another track to race on. It's great. Thank you. Thank you for coming out and running with us. I can't remember anything this week. I can't remember anything. But congrats on the win. I don't think you need any. Don't change nothing. No. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Whoa, shoot. I done lost my foot in there. Y'all about got to get a good laugh at me. <laughs> I was about to fall on my face. All right, here we go in the box stock 400. Billy Newhouse usually has an open car here. He is bumped into the 400s tonight out front right now. He's going to have some competition back there. Looks like Eunice has moved up to second. They've made some adjustments. They came to race tonight, folks. All the way from way across Georgia, the Eunice family, all out there. Greg Eunice, Horton. Right now, Billy Newhouse out front, trying to stretch it out a little bit. I need them run what you brung's on the grid. Run what you brung on the grid, followed by Predator 375. Run what you brung, Predator 375. Looks like Watson now moving up to fourth place. That 166 cart, the orange machine out there, going to move up now to try to make a challenge on Horton. Pulls right up on his back bumper there, trying to make it to the podium. Billy Newhouse putting some distance in between himself and second place now. Halfway home this time by the 21. Got himself a good, comfortable lead. Eunice and Horton. Here comes Watson. Watson's got another Eunice behind him.
Watson to the inside of Horton. Side by side down the back straightaway. Horton pulls just a little bit back in front. That's a battle for the last spot on the podium tonight. Billy Newhouse putting a little more room each straightaway. Eunice still right there in second, Horton in third. Wine in the laps down here. Run what you brung. Make sure you're at the grid. Run what you brung. Make sure you're at the grid. Lap flag, move over flag comes out. Four car will move up. Brandon Elwood pull it up out of the way. Okay, pulled it in. Two laps to go. Newhouse still your leader. Eunice still second. We've got another Eunice that just got around. Watson. Looks like Austin Eunice now up to fourth, and he's going to try to get to the podium as the white flag comes out. Austin Eunice looking to the bottom. Horton's going to have to hold off that charge. Last lap, Billy Newhouse with a big lead. Austin Eunice trying to get there. He's got one more shot to join, join his family. Greg Eunice up there on the stand. Off the turn four, Billy Newhouse takes a checkered flag. Greg. Predator 375, then the box stock 350, and then wing champs. Ryan Horton, third place tonight. You were surrounded by the Eunice family there at the end. I, I didn't know what was about to go down right there, but everybody did some good clean running and uh, looked like y'all had some fun out there. Who do you want to thank, man? Randy, uh, thank Randy. <laughs> David with the RPM power. <laughs> Corey Holly with the setup and Charles Smith for the tires. That says it all right there. Good job out there tonight. I see the face shield fogged up. We know you had hard trouble seeing there. Man, he was surrounded by a whole bunch of Eunice family right there, wasn't he? Did y'all have fun out here tonight? Yeah, ball. That's I'd like good. to thank the good Lord for letting us come out here and do this tonight. Uh, this is my brother. He'd be running with y'all tomorrow night. I don't know what boy's at. He always give me a hard time. He does our tire work for us, but I'd like to congratulate him. I don't know where he's at. Well, I'm glad y'all made the trip down here. We hope to get to see more of y'all, man. Appreciate it. Right. Had a good time. <laughs> nope. I'm going to get out of that picture. Billy Newhouse. The heck was that? I'm I, I'm just gonna I'm I'm at the, hey uh Mike Paget tear this one down. <laughs> Who do you want to thank, man? Uh, I like to thank Curtis Perrett, uh, my wife, um, my son. He sold it to me. Uh, TZ Motorsports, uh, Action Labor of Ocala, Tool Doctor, Bill, everybody. All right, man. Good job out there tonight. Seeing you back out front.
Run what you wrong. You got Johnny Zachary on the pole, Dustin Mitch outside pole, Tim Zachary out inside second row. And I gotta get that fella's name one more time there. Come to race with us tonight. It's late. Oh, I'm sorry. Troy Towers in the 33. Troy Towers in the 33. Looks like Rich Hill's trying to get his going here. He had some issue back there during the heats. Something happened to it. I think it looks like they're kind of trying to roll a chain back on it or something. If I was guessing from a distance. I've still got a set of keys up here. Still got a set of keys with a two year health spa thing and a Chevrolet and a turtle. Get for a Chevrolet. Looking for a healthy person who drives a Chevrolet. I got your keys up here at the tower. All right, they're calling off the attempt to get Rich going here. Next time by, we're going green. Run what you brung. Marion County Speedway on a Friday night here in Ocala, Florida. It's getting a little late, but dang it, we're going to get some racing in. I don't know a whole lot of people that are going to get to do it tomorrow. I sure hope they get to. I sure hope that a couple of these races that are, especially the special ones, they, that I hope they get them in. Forecast ain't looking too great, but God bless us with a, a wonderful Friday night, and we're looking forward to uh Finishing out this race night tonight. Johnny Zachary pole, Dustin Mitch outside pole, Tim Zachary and Troy Towers in the 33. Front straight away, it's gonna be Johnny Zachary leading into turn one, Dustin Mitch right there with him. Zachary, Tim Zachary, a little sideways up off of two. Dustin Mitch pulling up on Johnny Zachary there, giving a little challenge, still right there together. Johnny Zachary, Dustin Mitch. Looks like this is setting up to be a battle. Johnny's a little loose off of four. Looks like Dustin's getting through there pretty good. Both of them sliding out a little bit right there. That battle up front, still Zachary and Mitch. Predator 375, Predator 375, make sure you're at the grid. Predator 375, make sure you're at the grid. Box stock 350, you're right behind them. Predator 375, box stock 350. Johnny Zachary now with a little bit of lead over Mitch. He still can't make a mistake out there. Looks like his tires are coming in now. He was having a little trouble getting them warmed up or something right there. Don't know, I'm sure he'll tell me later. Halfway home, run what you brought, Marion County Speedway.
Donnie Zachary stretching it out now a little bit. Hard to find his spot. Mitch falling back. They're all kind of equally spaced around the track right now. Winding this one down. Uh, one cone out there flying around. Looks like it's going to be two laps to go this time by. Zachary, your leader. Mitch, second. Another Zachary, third. Looks like we got a caution down there. I'm only missing one. Gonna assume that was Tim Zachary. I got kind of a blind spot on the fence in turn. In the turn there. Predator 375, make sure you're at the grid. Predator 375, make sure you're at the grid. Box stock 350, you're right behind them. Predator 375, box stock All right, we're going to go back green flag race and run what you brung. We're down to three. Zachary, Mitch, and Towers are top three. Here are only three left. White flag in the air. Coming out of the front straight away one last time. Johnny Zachary's going to take the checkered flag. Dustin Mitch second. Troy Towers third. Run what you brung. Predator 375, you're coming out next. Predator 375 coming out next. Followed by Box Stock 350 and Wing Champs. Three races left. Let's get them done.
All right, we're gonna get a we get to go down the line here. Oh my gosh, marathon race! It probably shouldn't have been a marathon race, but we were trying to get everybody out there <laughs> and try to make sure. But man, what a night! You uh, definitely have a hoss there, that's for sure. <laughs> Who do you want to thank, man? I just want to thank all my people that came out here. This is a great race tonight. It's my first time here ever. Uh, I really enjoy running with the run with you brung. I'm kind of outclassed by motor. I was going to run out of gas pretty soon. All them guys came out, but you know what? I had a good time. I'm going to be coming again, and uh, I just had a really good time. Thanks for everybody, okay? Thank you. Thanks for coming out and running with us. Dustin. How you like going like this to the corner? Uh, it's, past my <laughs> it's, past, it's past all of our bedside. <laughs> Who do you want to thank, man? Oh, I'd like to thank my wife. I'd like to thank uh, Zane Caleb. He comes and helps me quite a bit on the card. I'd like to thank Trevor and Trenton. They, they all help. Um, I guess I know I'm forgetting somebody. And TG Motorsports. I'll take that. <laughs> Good job, man. Oh. See, I almost, I almost dove into the picture here. Johnny Zachary taking home another win tonight. Who do you want to thank, man? Oh, same old people. Uh, Bill, Bill for giving us a track to race on. I mean, I know all this weather has been terrible, and, and just being able to race tonight was enough in itself. But uh, I want to thank you, all everything you do around here to, to keep us going, uh, the, the set of tires that you prepped for me that I didn't get to run because the track didn't get hard enough. Um, thank Victor Peters for the power plant. Um, Chops, speed chop for the setup, and, and uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm forgetting everybody else, but everybody else wants to go home, so I'm getting out of here. I'm glad the redneck throttle's still working. That was a pretty good idea. <laughs> Predator 375 on the track now. Let's get these guys rolling. Winding this thing down here. It has been quite the day, night, everything. And we all going to be here again tomorrow for the Brent Lebo Memorial Race. Later today, I guess you'd say, yeah. Well, heck, they'll be back on the – we're going to bill out of bed about 6 in the morning working this track, ain't we? He's going to not – he doesn't hear that. Predator 375. LaFrance trying to find his way back to the podium. He's got some heavy hitters out there tonight looking to take away that chance. Predator 375 is green flag. They're going to shoot out there all around him. He did not get a good start that time. It's past his bedtime. The freedom cart goes out front. The 55, Phil Ramonde. All right, Freedom Card out front, the number 55. Stout giving up his ride tonight so he could help us with parking and all that stuff. Really appreciate that. And obviously he had a fast cart. We got one down here in the bank. Looks like Cole Lawson. He was making a pass there on the front straightaway. I didn't quite get to see what happened because he was kind of in behind the flagman, but may or may not have had help. Shoot, we'll just assume a lot of things. It's racing. Especially when I can't see the spot. They've got two blind spots on the track. And the very bottom of the back straightaway.
We're going to go back green flag racing. Everybody up here trying to keep each other entertained at the uh, late hours of the night. Yeah, I got Bramande up front, Brogan in second. Watson never did tell me who was driving his car on that one <laughs> in the 66. But I know that uh, I know that fourth place cart guy. I know him from somewhere. He's going to pull up, try to make the pass on the inside and take it to third. Bryant LaFrance in that number 10. Randy Glick, last week's second place finisher. Right there in fifth in the number 24. The 4T, Jeff Teague, he was your 50-50 winner tonight which technically didn't pay as much. This is actually a 100-to-win race. And that is all courtesy of Spar Automotive and Custom. Eddie Tillander, come on board to sponsor tonight. We really appreciate that. It has been so crazy here tonight that I haven't got to say his name a lot. I hope he's seen it online. I hope he sees it on all of our stuff and comes back on a night where it isn't quite so crazy. But, Eddie Tillander, we do appreciate your sponsorship here of the Predator Race. Throwing a little money out there. Randy Glick apparently talked you into it. <laughs> as, we, as I say Randy's name, he's waving at somebody with all. I think he had all his fingers up as he went by. So, it, Well, it may not have been all of them. But we're, we're, we'll go back and look at the instant replay to see if Randy had all of his fingers up. But uh, Also sponsoring the race tonight, Charles Smith Landscaping and CRS Pressure Washing. They came on, all of them, to sponsor this Predator race. It's 100 to win, 50 for second, 30 for third, 20 for fourth, and we thought to thank those sponsors. We'll make sure to keep putting stuff out there for them. Right now, the 55 got a pretty good, comfortable lead. Phil making his big return here to the bull ring. Hadn't seen him in a while. Pretty glad he come back to run with us. Maybe this will get him back in a cart. Back full time with us. Scott Brogan back in a cart tonight, taking the Kevin Terry ride. Kevin couldn't make it back into town in time. Giving it a good whirl as we got two laps to go. White flag will be out this time by. Looks like the 66 cart has had some kind of problem. He's slowing down. Hopefully he makes it. We might get a white in the car. Or, well, no, he'll make it. He's sputter, sputtering a little bit or something. Down the back straightaway the last time. Phil Vermonde at number 55. I wanted to say number 12. I'm so used to saying it, but he's going to take the win in the freedom cart, number 55. Scott. Three fifty coming up next, followed by the Wing Champ. Box stock three fifty and Wing Champ. Gonna round out this show.
keeper's kicking me out. Phil, it's been a long time. What the heck are you doing back here and jumping in carts and taking wins away from people? I tell you, I miss coming out here. I love the people out here. I miss all my friends, family. Uh, I got to say thanks to Tommy for giving me the ride tonight and uh, just glad to be here. Well, we're glad you come back out to run with us, man. I, I enjoy mispronouncing your name. <laughs> Scott, yeah. every, it's like, 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 like go-kart reunion over here. Another one to come back to run with us tonight. Who you want to thank, man? Uh, Charles Smith, Mandy, you know, everybody that helps out with this. That's it? Yeah. Nothing? Yeah. <laughs> Congrats, Ryan LaFrance. Drove it back up to third. They had a lot better start than you did. I don't know what happened on that. Is it past your bedtime? Wrong gear. <laughs> anyway, straight up. I'd like to thank TZ Motorsports, Paul Grant Electric, my wife and my daughter Samantha at home, and my son Maxwell for helping me out a lot now. All right, man. Good run out there tonight. Get the right gear next time. Hey, it works a lot better announcing a race if you got the microphone on. Charles Smith out front, but he has got a, if he had a mirror on that thing, he'd be slapped full of Michael Trockey right now. Yellow flag. We got two of them together on the back straightaway. One of them climbing out. Looks like Giles climbing out of the cart.
So while we got a caution, if you haven't took your shot in the race car for you simulator yet, they still over there. Looks like it's still on. I still have a fast time sitting here from looks like Matthew LaPrade had the fast time. 13793. We're gonna try to get him to stay tonight and be or stay uh stay for tomorrow night's race. Have some fun here tomorrow night. The Brent Lebo Memorial. Mini sprint racing. So up in this top four right now, the front two rows were all high finishers in your uh, 911 Memorial race. That race, he had the 17 win of Mitchell. Trocky was second. The 07 of Erickson was third. And Charles Smith had went out. And here they are up front. They've had time to work on stuff, and they're going to battle it back out one more time. We're about to do a complete restart right here. Michael Trocky, Charles Smith. They're going to get this thing rolling. Trocky with a lot better start that time. He's going to go out front. Now Charles Smith will work from second. Here comes Corey Mitchell, winner of the 911 Memorial Race. Well, when we were in the last one after the uh, 911 race, I said Trocky may go back, make some adjustments, and he was just a tick off. May have made the right adjustment here because he's out front and he's going to be hard to catch. Corey Mitchell, winner of the 911 race, trying to get around Charles Smith. See if he can get up there and do anything with him. The 123, I believe that's Charlie Smith. Charles' son right there. Look back there, we got the mud puppy and the double zero. Coming to run with us tonight. Been a while since we've seen him on the track. Matthew, nice wander. Wing champ, wing champ, we need you at the grid. We're halfway through this box stock. Champs on the track as good as quick as we can here. Trocky now stretching the lead out a little bit. Charles Smith holding on to second. Corey Mitchell right there. Trying to put a little bit of heat on him, trying to get around. Here's Corey Mitchell to the inside. Smith slides up, gives him a little room, and we'll see if Mitchell has enough time to make up that gap.
Corey Mitchell doing everything he can to close that gap up on Trockey, but Trockey is looking pretty hooked up right now. They're going to be looking at the white flag this time by Michael Trockey. His first trip here to the bull ring, looking to take home a little hardware and a steak dinner. Miller's Ale House steak dinner and a oil change at Palm Chevrolet and a couple of VSP tickets. Down through three and four one last time, and Michael Trockey is going to take the victory. Charles Smith second. Well, I said you were going to make some adjustments. I don't even know if you changed anything, but uh, it, it, it definitely was a little faster looking out there, man. Oh, yeah. Um, definitely went back and made some adjustments after that first race. It, uh, just wasn't handling that good. Got a little bit better on the tires, thanks to my dad and Corey Holly with Kryptonite, and made it happen. All right. Look fast out there. We're glad you come and run with us tonight, man. I know we'll be seeing you. I know we'll be seeing you again. You know you got something for these boys out here. We're glad you come and run with us, man. Let me get out of their picture. We'll come around here. We'll find Corey Mitchell. You know, not quite the cool of hardware as the first race, but, you know, <laughs> I'm sure that will have a special place somewhere with you. Who do you want to thank, man? Uh, Chop Speed Shop again. You know, my cousin Rick showed up, all the family that showed up tonight. Uh, track staying together as best it could. Good racing. It is what it is. Well, we hope you all had a good time, man. Thanks for coming out and racing with us. Charles Smith, woo! You tired yet? No, yeah. no, I, no, not even. I you stay up all night anyway. Yeah. Who do you want to thank, man? Uh, Corey Holly, Kryptonite Parts, and and uh, RPM Motors. You know, and we had something break on that last race and just got it back together in just in time. And so. All right, man. Well, we're gonna get this last wing champ race in the books. Try to get y'all out of here. Woo! Smile for my corn. <laughs> Last feature race of the night. How long y'all been waiting to hear those words? Oh, that one doesn't, does this one stay down there? Hey, Randy. Randy, will you run this back down to Bill? He actually keeps that one down there. All right, let's do this one more time tonight, and then we're going to wind it up and do it all again tomorrow night for the Lebo Memorial Race. I'll be here to call that one. I may just go over and fall asleep in my trailer. I don't know. <laughs> Speaking of the parts trailer, if you've got a tab over there, please go take care of it. If you've got a tab over at the parts trailer, please don't make me look for you during the week.
I don't like looking for people. It stinks. <laughs> Wing champ. He got a front row full of sea rights and a Avello is the only one that came back out. No, no Virgil Andrews, no Mike Perkins. I think they went home. But these C Wright guys, they they I think I could hold a race at four in the morning and they show up. Tim C. Wright to the front, OJ C. Wright right there behind him. And that was not a sound that you want to hear coming out of your go-kart. Tim C. Wright right there in the middle of three and four, something let go. And he coasted to the pits. And this may be a very abbreviated feature race. I don't think OJ will have a problem with that. <laughs> We're going to give them two more laps, wind this thing down, put it in the books, and call it a night, folks. We thank everybody for coming out here to Marion County Speedway tonight. We know it was a long show, but it was for a good cause. Carson's race tonight, won by Matthew LaPrade. The 911 Memorial Race, won by Corey Mitchell. Definitely uh, some worthwhile causes. Please make sure you look into Racing Fast for first responders. Make a donation to them. We'll be donating all that money that came in the entries tonight to them. And we want to thank everybody for coming out. One more time, if you have a tab over at the parts trailer, please go take care of it. If you haven't drove that simulator car and they're still sitting over there, go drive it one time before you go home tonight. If you aren't doing anything tomorrow night, and let's face it, I don't think there's a whole lot of anybody running anywhere else except for our friends over at Original Speedway Park. Have a kart race over there that is another memorial-type day for Carson. They have some racing going on. They also have some Vega racing going on tomorrow. So if you got some Vega tires and you want to put them to use, check it out over there at Original Speedway Park. They've got a whole big show planned out tomorrow. We hope the weather holds out for them. And uh, they did post something earlier that said it was a go for them. So all you cart guys that want to get some more racing in, go check it out over there. And all of our Sprint fans, if y'all want to uh, – Get your sprint fix in tomorrow night. We'll be right back here again for the Brent Lebo Memorial. Bill is, like, really super excited to go to bed here shortly. We're not going to let him, though. We're going to keep him up for another at least two hours. He needs to see 4 a.m. tonight. It's past all of our bedtime. Take your time. <laughs> we saved the hardest cards to get out of for last. Here comes Tim down the front. Breaker of whatever it was in the middle of turn three and four. Brand new chain, and he has a – Woo! Did you use a master link? Nope. That was a no master link? No master link. Woo! Wow. They probably just needed to use the chain. Ouch. <laughs> That's, I have not. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I thought that was a motor in the heat race. I, I, did, I said I didn't see a hole in it. You'll hear in the video I said, I don't see a hole. <laughs> Woo. Well, you did not have a good night. <laughs> no, but at least they got it running good for a change. I say it was running good when it was running. Let me get out of his picture here. Let, this, let Mr. Horn get a picture there. Mike is got to be ready to get the heck out of here. He's like, why the heck did I volunteer to come do this go-kart ra racing thing? OJ C. Wright. Well, you didn't have to work really hard for that one tonight, but we appreciate you coming out here running with us, and hey, a win's a win's a win. I'm sure years from now to be like, I went to Ocala, there were 42 carts showed up, pulled a straightaway on them, lapped half the field, right? That's what you're supposed to do, isn't it? Tell lies about it all the time, but no, I can't do that. 
but uh, I just got to thank the Lord for us being able to do this. Thank you guys for putting up with us and uh, on short notice to come up here and all. And uh, thank my son for doing the tires and my wife for letting us do this. And like I say, we just appreciate you guys and uh, appreciate the Lord for letting us do it. That's the main thing. Exactly. <laughs> well, we definitely got to thank God for giving us this weather tonight, too, because uh, it's been rain here, rain here, rain here, and rain here <laughs> over and over. <laughs> oh, there's a, whew, wow, it's everything we can do to pump the water out of this place. I mean, hey, I mean, you know, I mean, with, again, big fish story, 42 carts. You ran a close second. You got around him three times. And, you know, in the end, he ran you up the track, yep. dirty, dirty driving. And, you know, just, you know, you can't believe that happened to you. But, uh, yeah. hey, man, who do you want to thank? Uh, well, I got to thank my wife, of course. And these two gentlemen right here, Tim and OJ, man, they're the best. It being a school for me in the last couple of days. And they're the great persons. They're good, man. I got to thank them a lot. And, well, and also the other guys, they, they took off earlier, so I came on second again. Hey, I take it. <laughs> hey, uh, we appreciate you coming out to run with us. Good to see these guys working together, just making sure everybody has a good time. Oh, yeah. And uh, thanks for coming out, y'all. We appreciate having you here. <laughs> Parts trailer, parts trailer, there.